your holy temple and this your holy place and we will rise to Zion's heights to praise and glorify to unify and oh how we love you and oh how we praise you and oh how we worship you oh lord good morning oh how we love you good morning facebook and oh how we praise you and oh how we worship you Oh, Lord, we honor you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, those of you that are coming in on Facebook. Good morning to those of you that are joining us on, um, what is this thing called? Uh, YouTube. Amen. Good morning. Thank you for the love, TikTok. TikTok, always come in hitting hard. Everybody else, y'all just be watching, boy. Glory to God. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, those of you that are watching on TikTok. Good morning to those of you that are coming. Good morning, Cedric. Love you, my brother. Good morning to those of you that are watching on Instagram. God bless you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If this is your first time, I want to say welcome. My name is Pastor Cornelius. Amen. We are Heaven's Impact. We are a body of believers that absolutely love Jesus Christ. Thank you for the love, Instagram. Are we perfect? No, but we're striving to be more like him. Hey, amen, by taking time to pray, to worship him, to seek him. Amen, the Bible says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then he said, all these other things shall be added unto us. That means as we put God first, he's going to give you everything that you need. Amen. But the key to that happening is that we got to put God first. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. Miss Empress, good morning to those of you. Amen. Can everybody just come in on the street? Jesus, I love you. Amen. As you come in, can you just tell the Lord, Jesus, I love you. Good morning, Nehemiah. Amen. Can you just tell him, say, Jesus, I love you. Amen. I love you. Hallelujah. I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is so amazing, y'all. And he's so awesome. And he's up to some amazing things for his children. If we could just stay in the posture of obedience. Can I just encourage you this morning? God ain't forget you. And there's some great things that God has in store for each and every one of our life. And listen, I've been having this word, like I, this word has been with me for the past couple of days. And um, first, I just want to say this. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for another day to worship you, another day to get in your presence. And God, we just repent. Lord, I repent. Father, there's anything that I thought, said, done, or wanted to do, God, that was not pleasing unto you. Lord, please forgive me. Good morning. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. God, we know that your return is so near. So we ask God that you help us to be in a posture of obedience, that when you do return, we'll hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servants, enter into the joy of the Lord. So God, give us the strength to live holy. Give us the strength to resist those things that are not pleasing unto you. Help us to love as you would command us to love. God, you say that we are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, and soul, and our neighbor as ourselves. So God, I ask right now that you will help us to walk in love with everything that we do in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just release the blood of Jesus over every person that is watching this morning. God, somebody needs strength. Somebody needs to know that everything is going to be all right. And God, you said in your word that if I would decree a thing, it shall be established on earth. God, I declare strength to your people. I declare endurance to your people. We know that the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong, but to those that will endure God, help us to endure. God, we want to make it in. We don't want to be a castaway. We don't want to let you down. So God, anytime that we make mistakes, help us to get it right. Your word said that a just man falls seven times, but he gets back up again. So we know that there will be times that we fall, but God, give us the strength, the reminder to get back up again. Holy Spirit, please always convict us. Never allow us to lose our conviction. That when something isn't right and something feels off, God, convict us immediately so that we can make it right with you. God, your word says that only the pure in heart shall see God. So, Father, my prayer this morning is that you keep our hearts pure. 
Never allow us to walk in jealousy. Never allow us to walk in envy. Not liking the favor that you're doing for somebody else. Not liking the doors that you open up with for somebody else. Trying to close doors on our brothers and sisters. Coveting. Help us not to walk in covet. But God, help us to be kingdom minded. Recognizing that there's room for all of us. And that we're one body with many members. God, I bind the spirit of jealousy. I bind the spirit of competition, comparison. And I send it back to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus. And God, I declare unity within the body of Christ. We bind the spirit of pride, arrogance, haughtiness. We send it back to the pits of hell. Every spirit of envy. We cast you down and send you back to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus. And God, I release the blood of Jesus over the minds of your people. You said, let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare that we have the mind of Christ that we have a sound mind. God, help us to think on these things that are pure, that are lovely, that are of good report in the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. Father, we love you so much. Good morning, Rhea. Father, we love you so much. We honor you. We adore you. We extol you. God, we lift this service up to you. And we ask right now, God, have your way. Move by your power, God, this morning. Somebody needs this word. So I ask right now, Holy Spirit, that you make my mouth the pen of a ready writer. That I will speak exactly what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in this season. And I ask right now, God, that you keep my ears inclined to your mouth. That I can hear what you're saying, God. I don't want to be led astray. I don't want to be distracted. God, I want to be able to hear from you clearly in the name of Jesus. And God, I say thank you. Have your way this morning. And we'll forever give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And God, I recognize that Satan is the prince of the air. So God, I take authority over the airwaves. And I rebuke, I bind, I cast down every word curse that has been released over our day. And I send it back to the pits of hell. Every curse of failure. While we're asleep at night, witches and warlocks and monitoring spirits releasing demonic darts over our day. I bind the spirit of sabotage, murder, robbery, rage, setup, jealousy, envy, stagnancy, every word curse that has been released on my day to attack our joy, our peace. I rebuke you, I bind you up, I cast you out, and I send you back to out of darkness, back to the pits of hell in which you came. Now, God, you say whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever I loose on earth is loose in heaven. God, I lose peace. I lose increase. I lose favor. I lose joy. I lose overflow. I lose abundance. God, I lose breakthrough, healing, restoration. That everything that the locust, the canker worm, and the palm worm has tried up to eat, tried to eat up from your people. I declare that it's all coming back. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for greater. We declare that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what you have prepared for those who love you. And God, because we're coming seeking you this morning. God, we're showing you that you that we love you. So God, meet the needs of your people this morning. And we'll forever give you glory, honor, and praise. In the powerful, matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Father, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Can everybody just say amen? And after you say amen, I want you to just come in on the screen. Jesus, I love you. Amen. Father, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Nobody greater than you, Lord. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor, Lord. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one greater than you, Jesus. You are amazing, Jesus. Can somebody just come in that on the stream? You're amazing, Jesus. Can you just tell Jesus that this morning? The Bible said that God inhabits the praises of his people. That means God literally dwells 
wherever there is praise and worship. To inhabit means to dwell. God literally comes and sit in our midst as we begin to tell him that he's awesome. As we begin to tell him that he's holy, that there's no one like him. You're amazing, Jesus. That's right, Miss Business Sauce. Come on, you're amazing, Jesus. She said, I sold recently. It was notified I'll be receiving an unexpected direct deposit. It works. That's right. Thank you for sharing your testimony. Amen. It works. Hallelujah. You're amazing, Jesus. Come on, can you just tell them that this morning? You're the only living God. You're the only wise God. You are an amazing God. You are an amazing God. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Nobody greater. Nobody bigger. Nobody wiser than you, God. And we give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor, God. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. You are our safe place. You are our hiding place. And you, we find our peace. And you, we find our joy. There is no one bigger. There is no one stronger than you, God. So we pull on you this morning. We pull on you this morning, God. We pull on your strength. We pull on your joy. We pull on your peace this morning. You are the well that will never run dry. You're the well that won't run dry. You're the well that won't run dry. And we give you glory. We give you glory. Can somebody just tell God that this morning, God, I give you glory. Come on, can you tell God that this morning, God, I give you glory. You know one of the things I love about worship? The enemy can't sit in the presence of authentic worship. Those who come on assignment to spectate, to watch, to see what's going on, monitoring spirits, they can't sit in the atmosphere of worship. Remember, that's the one thing the devil can't do no more. He can't worship God. He got kicked out of heaven, so he no longer has that right to worship and love on God. Because remember, he wanted to be worshiped. He wanted to be praised. So when we begin to worship and love on God, it annoys the enemy. Can't even stay in our presence. Father, you are worthy. You're a worthy God. Can you just tell God that this morning? God, you're worthy. Only if you believe it, though. I don't want to force you to say something that you don't mean. But if you believe that this morning, tell him you're worthy, God. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. There is no one more worthy than you, Jesus. And we freely give you glory. We freely give you honor. You ain't got to force us to worship you. You ain't got to force us to give you praise because it is yours. Hallelujah. Can you just tell God that this morning, say, God, my praise belongs to you. Can you tell him, God, my praise belongs to you. It's yours. It's yours. God, my praise belongs to you. Hallelujah, that's right. God kicked Satan out of um, his, for his proper ways, but created us sol solely for his own worship now. Amen. And the devil hates it. He can't stand in the presence of worship. That's why I tell you, if you're at work and the boss trying to give you a hard time, or let's say you at home with your spouse and the enemy trying to create confusion in your home, instead of arguing, going back and forth with your spouse, or instead of arguing with your manager, trying to prove that you're right, just take a moment to worship. You know how people take a cigarette break, but they go, you know, take a break to, you know, do something on the phone. You take a worship break. Somebody come and take a worship break. That's what you do. Take a worship break. So while you're at work and the boss trying to give you a hard time, just say, can I, can I take a moment? Clock out. Take you a few minutes and just walk around the parking lot. You're amazing, God. I give you glory, Jesus. I give you honor, Lord. Father, I honor you. In spite of what you may be going through, in spite of what the enemy is trying to release against your life, Father, we give you glory. 
We give you glory, Jesus. Thank you, woman of God. You're such a great worship man, man of God. Keep ushering us in. Thank you for the encouragement. Keep praying for me because the devil don't like what God is using me to do, but he can't stop God. So please pray for me. Amen. You're amazing, Jesus. Hallelujah. Take a worship break. That's right, Auntie Barbara. Take a worship break. Amen. That's right, Katian on YouTube. God, you're worthy. Amen. Nobody like him. Amen. Good morning to you as well, Jonelle on YouTube. Hallelujah. He's an amazing God. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil get in the way of what God is getting ready to do in your life. The enemy's mad. He's furious. He doesn't like what God is about to do. Can I tell y'all something? This is why you got to, the Bible say, know them that labor among you. Be mindful of who you allow access to your life. Can I just encourage you this morning? This is the season that you stay alert. Can everybody coming on the stream stay alert? Stay alert. And this word has been, I've been, I was supposed to release this word, like it's been in my spirit for the past couple of days. But can I tell you, excuse me, this is the season to stay alert. Can everybody just comment down on the stream, stay alert? Stay alert. Because can I tell you something? Everybody's not happy about what God is getting ready to do in your life. Good morning, Miss Waikisha. Love you, my sister. Everybody's not happy about where God is taking you. So you got to be vigilant, sharp in the spirit. Good morning, Michaela. Love you, my sister. The Bible say, know them that labor among you. Know who your friends are and know who your enemies are because you got to know where to keep people. Hallelujah. Everybody don't deserve access to your life. And then there are some people that you got in your life you need to disconnect yourself from because they don't like the favor that's on your life. Do you know that there are people that are jealous and that will watch? Isn't it interesting how people will love you as long as your life is mediocre and it's just okay? But the moment God begins to increase you and enlarge your capacity and take you places that you never dreamed or imagined you go, people begin to show them true, their true colors. Now, one minute, oh, God bless. Oh, I want God to do great things for you. But then when God starts to do great things, they start to show you who they really are. But I declare that God is going to keep us alert in this season. And I declare that he's going to remove anything from our life that shouldn't be there. He's getting it out of the way. I want to read this this morning. Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 37. Amen. I uh, miss Carissa. It says here, Genesis chapter 37. Can everybody comment that on the screen for me? Genesis 37. I want you to comment that. Genesis chapter 37. Because I want to make sure that everybody can see where we at this morning. Father, you're worthy. Genesis chapter 37. Thank you so much for coming in for me on TikTok. Thank you. Amen. Genesis chapter 30, uh, 37. You got to know who you're connected to in this season. Good morning, Adam Ness. I love you, my brother. You got to know who you're connected to in this season. Because everybody does not want to see God elevate you. And sometimes it'd be the main people saying, oh, uh, I'd be glad. I know God going to do great things in your life. Oh, I'm just excited. But then when the great things start to happen, they start to stop supporting you. They back away. They no longer to be found. I remember when I would go live, y'all, and there would be a bunch of witches and warlocks watching. Can I just testify? Those of you that are sowing, give me a moment. I'm going to pray for your seed. But I would go live and on Facebook, there would be two, 3,000 people watching me at a time. TikTok, sometimes 2,000 people watching. A bunch of monitoring spirits. And these people would faithfully sow. Hold on one second. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is AT. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I forgot, y'all. My phone bill due. I got to pay my phone bill. I forgot. So hopefully we don't get turned off, but I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi, so we should be good. Amen. But I, I be forgetting to pay my phone bill because I be so busy, y'all. I do a lot, y'all. So I be forgetting to pay my phone bill. I really do. I'm sorry. I do because I be, I do so much. I'm always helping and giving. So the moment I get off this line, then I'm calling. I'm helping people. I'm helping people pay bills. Just so I just be so busy that I forget to pay my own bills sometimes. So y'all pray my strength. Amen, Lord. So let's hope that the phone don't get turned off. But there will be times that I'm live on minister, right? And there would be so many people watching. And let me tell y'all this. These, they would be given $1,000 seeds. 500 800 And listen, they would call it seed. Seed. Sacrifice. And so 
I remember my body would be in so much pain. My bill, I think it's like 300 and something dollars or something like that. Amen. But I got, I, I will listen. But yeah, so here it is. So, um, so he was like, um, cause remember I got all these different devices so that I can stream to be able to minister. So I got to, you got to have a device for YouTube. You got to have a do device for what is this thing called? Um, YouTube, um, Facebook, a device for TikTok, a device for Instagram. That way the word can go out all over the place. So, amen. He said, let me pay that for you. Lord, do uh, you want to pay it, man of God? You sure can. <laughs> Don't be playing with me. Amen. But then I'll be playing. But let me say this. So there would be a bunch of witches and warlocks. I think it's like 300 and some dollars. But there would be a bunch of witches and warlocks watching me, right? And so there would be some that would give a thousand. And I'm talking about at a time. One lady, every time she called me, she had a thousand dollars to give. And these are the same people. Oh, Pastor God, gonna do great things in your life. But I remember my body would be in so much pain. Back hurting. Legs in pain, aching, but I would be going live, feeding the homeless, doing ministry. You're the name above all names, and you are worthy of all praise. And nobody knew I was in pain, body under attack. And I'm talking about the same people that was always, oh, I just, I got going to do great, and I'm so excited for you. Can I tell you what happened? When we started naming our seeds, I said, listen, God said, Cornelius, stop telling them to sow. I mean, stop telling them, just send seeds. Name the seed. The Bible says, whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. Can I tell y'all what happened last night? Last night, there was a lady that sent, let me show you, $250. I refunded her back her $250. And I even, I even messaged her. Let me show y'all so y'all don't, y'all think it's a game, some of y'all. But let me show y'all how real this thing is. This lady sends $250 right here last night. She sent it at 10, 17 p.m., right? So I refunded back because she didn't name it. And I said to her, I sent her back a dollar. I said, ma'am, I said, please name your seat what you need God to do, right? So then she, she refunded me back the dollar, didn't say nothing. I said, please name your seat what you need God to do. So I sent her another one saying, um, I said, um, we name our seeds. And I said, if it's your tithe, just put tithe in the parentheses. She refunded that back. So then I said, um, 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 then I, I sent her another one. I said, why does it offend you to name your seed? And she blocked me on cash out. Can I tell y'all something, people of God? Every seed has an assignment. Thank you, my brother, for the encouragement. Every seed has an assignment. And one of the things that witches and warlocks recognize is the power of sacrifice. So they know you can literally sow a seed to block somebody. God taught me. He said, how do you think witchcraft starts, son? It all starts from a sacrifice. And this lady sent $250, 10 something last night. I refunded it back immediately. And I said, ma'am, please name your seed. You know, if it's a tithe, just put tithe. I said, but we name our seeds. She refunded me back the dollar. Like with an attitude, I said, ma'am, why does it offend you to name your seed? Can I tell you why it offends people? Because everybody that's sowing into your life don't mean you will. There are people that will sow into you to block you. You got to remember, there are spiritual laws and principles in the spirit realm that can't be altered. The word of God can't return and void. So when the Bible says give and it shall be given, there are people given to block your help. There are people given to stop your business from increasing. When the Bible says whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. There are literally everything in life is about sacrifice. So anything we're giving money to, we're sacrificing to have that. We sacrifice a thousand, two thousand dollars a month to drive a nice vehicle. You sacrifice five to eight thousand dollars, whatever you pay each month to live in a big, beautiful home. That's right. You better preach somebody. Somebody know what I'm talking about. He said the spirit realm is more real than this realm. You better preach, man of God. It is more real than the physical realm. So before anything happens in the physical, it first manifests in the spirit. That's why the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, you know, rulers of darkness of this world and stuff. So in the spirit realm, some of y'all millionaires, but it just haven't manifested yet in the physical realm yet. But in the spirit realm, there are some people that are bound, that are chained. And you wonder why every time you try to do something, it's like your, your life is at a standstill. Like you keep hitting a brick wall. You want to know why? Because those that deal with divination, they recognize this principle that everything in life operates off of. Sacrifice. Can everybody come at the word sacrifice? Help me, Holy Ghost. Can everybody come at that word sacrifice? So there will be people that are sowing 
on a regular. And I'm talking about there would be people, one lady, every time she called my phone, she had $1,000. But I could hear the demon in her voice when she would call. Man, I, got, I just called her something I see. I remember she would be calling like, Lord, do I have to answer this call? Because when you got the Holy Ghost, you know when something's off. And I don't be wanting to offend people. Because I'm the type of person I will go, I will go to praying in the Holy Ghost, knocking stuff down. Why do you think I get those quickness often sometimes? Because whenever people invite me to minister places, right? There's some people in the audience that don't want me up on the stage. There's some people that don't want to see God use me. So why does Holy Spirit start coming up out of me? And I just, Why do I just start spirit? The Bible says the spirit make an intercession through moanings and groanings which cannot be uttered. So oftentimes you don't realize, why am I getting this kick quick then? Holy Spirit recognized something in the atmosphere that we can't see with the natural eye and he's shutting it down, knocking it down. Knocking down the spirits that want you to fail. Knocking down the spirits that want you to go hoarse. Knocking down the spirits that don't want you to minister effectively. It's real. That's why the Bible says, build yourself up in the Holy Ghost. Meaning every chance you get. So people say, oh, you need an interpreter. That's a lie from the pits of hell. You don't need an interpreter to build yourself up in the Holy Ghost. In the Bible, he said, I pray in the Spirit more than all of you. Build yourself up. Some days throughout the day. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. When you're in your private time. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the honor. We give it over to you, God. Hallelujah. Build yourself up. So there will be people that are sitting, um, you know, that will be sending money back to back. And I'm talking about, I ain't talking about little amounts. Like how we, you know how we, we will fight about giving God a hundred dollars. But you got people that recognize the power of sacrifice that will give thousands to block you. Why do you think concert tickets today cost a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars? The devil got you sacrificing without even letting you know that you're sacrificing. Making a covenant with demons that these artists are in covenant with and working for. So, and you're giving these thousand dollars for a ticket, you're making a covenant with the enemy. They're not preaching the word of God. They're not winning souls. So whose kingdom you just gave to? The enemy's kingdom. But there would be people that will give all the time. Oh man, God, I just love you. Oh, I'm just, and God would tell me, don't trust them. Don't trust them. And I'm talking about, they will be sowing big. My private, life was, my private life was a failure, but I was a public success. Feeding the homeless, helping everybody else, but I didn't have a place to stay. Didn't have no peace in my own home. Got a house, but couldn't sleep in it. No peace in it, because there would be people sacrificing so that I didn't have peace. Sacrificing so that my life would be at a standstill. And get this, they will sow directly into you I was even connected to a man of God. And it, well, God, I thought was a man of God, but he was a warlock. This guy, every time I sold, he would sow back into me. If I sold 100 or 200 into somebody else's ministry, if I sold 500, he would sow the exact amount back into me. So I would say, bro, what this for? He said, well, I just, you sold into them, so I want to sow back into you. What was he doing when he was sowing to me? He was sowing to block whatever I was believing God for. And this is why the Bible says, thank you, woman of God, continue to keep me coming. I, I release the blood of Jesus over your life and over your family that God will continue to cover you. And Jesus said, thank you for your obedience to the Holy Spirit. I declare that you're covered in your truck and business is covered in Jesus' name. So every time I sold into somebody, he was so back into me. And I thought I had found a real good friend. I'm like, man, I ain't never had a friend. Every time I'm sowing, he's sowing back into me. But he was sowing to block what I was believing God for. And this is why the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Because we're so busy sacrificing for Louis Vuitton. Sacrificing for red bottoms. Sacrificing for a fender bag. The Bible says what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Do you know why the word of God said that God gives seed to the sower? Why does the word of God say that? Because there are some things that will not break off of your life unless you sacrifice. That's the word. So if God gives seed, 
to the sower. God is giving you seed to sow your way out of some things, to break things in the spirit. But the thing is, we think that every monetary thing God gives us is to get another car. It's to get another house. It's to open up another business. It's to save up for a new house. No, baby. There's some things that you're supposed to put a demand in the spirit. This is why we name our seed. Because whatever you're sowing, you're sowing an expectation that God is going to cause that to manifest. And this is why there's so many fake pages of me. Speaking of that, if anybody inbox you asking for money, that is not me. Please block them. There's so many fake pages of me. Talking about giving to an organization, a charity over in Africa and all that foolishness. That is not me. Please block them. These witches and warlocks and monitor spirits, they are furious because of the teachings that God has given me to release to the world. They're furious because we think that we're supposed to just use money to get material things. But money is so powerful that it shifts things in the spirit. Ecclesiastes 10, 19. It says money answers all things. Why is that? Because money is literally a tool that makes things shift immediately. There's some things you can pray for until you black and blue in the face and nothing will change. But the moment you release the seed, it shifts immediately. Thank you. She said, I just blocked somebody. I've been deleting them. And thank you. I'm glad y'all got discernment. Somebody called me yesterday and said, man, God, I knew that wasn't you. Because the way that they was talking, that couldn't have been you. So I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. So there would be people that would say, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm just so excited about where God is taking you. But the whole time they were against me. Because can I tell you something? When we started naming our seeds, all those same people that were saying that they're believing God to do great things in my life. Guess what? They all disappear. They all disappear. You brought me to God again. To God be the glory. God gets all the glory. Thank you for sharing your testimony. You hear me? All of them started disappearing. And I'm talking about there will be people that would give every day. They don't fight about giving to God. I mean, because they were giving to block me, to attack my health. And I would be in so much pain on the live and nobody knew. Worshiping and passing out food and nobody knew that my legs were aching, my back was hurting, can barely move sometimes. Father, we give you glory. There is no one greater but in pain, hand, handing out the food because of the demonic darts that they were releasing against my life. God had to tell me, he said, Cornelius, what is a seed? No, that wasn't me asking to sow into an organization. I don't even have an organization. Um, look, so God said, Cornelius, what is a seed? I'm going to pray over your time. Give me a moment, woman of God. He said, what is a seed? He said, a seed is something that somebody is planting in expectation for something. So whenever a farmer releases an orange seed, he's expecting an orange tree to grow. Whenever a farmer releases a watermelon seed, he's expecting watermelons to grow. Whenever a farmer plants mango seed, he's expecting mangoes to grow. So he said, Cornelius, every seed has an assignment. So when they're sowing, tell them to name the seed. What are you believing God for? The woman that sent $250 last night and I refunded it back to her, she never named a seed. She even blocked me on cash out. So why does it offend a person that much that somebody send you back your money, showing you that they're not doing it for the money, but they're telling you to put a demand in the spirit? Why did it offend her so much? Because all money ain't good money. You hear me? All money ain't good money. Somebody says, when did money start being involved with God? Money wasn't always around. How did it? Sweetheart, let me read something to you, Miss Amanda. And this is why the Bible say my people perish for lack of knowledge. All right, Amanda, I want to read something for you, sweetheart. Ecclesiastes 10, 19. Amen. I want to read this for Amanda. I'm going to pray for your time, woman of God. Give me a moment. I want to read this for Amanda, the one that just said money ain't supposed to be mentioned with God. So you think God is supposed to increase you to keep the malls open. You think God's supposed to increase you to keep the strip clubs open. You think that God is supposed to increase you to keep the bars, the liquor stores open. So you think that, so you go to God and say, oh God, increase me, enlarge my territory. Oh God, bless me to be a blessing. But then when he give it to you, you kick him out of it. How does that even make sense? Oh God, give me increase so that I can forget about you once I get it. My people perish for lack of knowledge. This is what the word of God says. But I want to read this for you. Um, Amanda, all right? I believe that's your name. I want to read this for you, Amanda. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I want to read this for you. Hallelujah. Father, you're worthy. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. And we give you the glory. 
and we give you the honor, Lord. Father, we honor you. Get this, Amanda. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 19. A feast is made for laughter. You know that when we have a feast, we come to laugh and have a good time, right? You hear me? And wine make it merry. Good morning, Mal uh, Malik. So you know that wine make it merry. When you go to drinking, you get happy and excited, right? And you got all of a sudden you get this boldness and you can take over the dance floor because you've been drinking, right? So it starts to make you merry and happy. But get what they say. But money answers all things. Then it says here next in verse number 20. Curse not the king. No, not in thy thought. And curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird that air shall carry the voice, and that which have wings shall tell the matter. Why would the Bible tell you not to curse somebody after you just said money answers all things? Because there are people that are so wicked that release money to curse your life. And because we feel like we're not supposed to give God anything, you have no weight in the spirit. That's why the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. He said, you sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. So God is literally letting you know, I'm matching your sacrifice. If you look all throughout the Bible, every time they came before God, they had something to present. Nobody ever came before God empty-handed. And this is why he say in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves. Meaning only loving what they can get out of God, but not willing to give anything to God. So it's always, God, give me healing. God, give me increase. Oh, open doors for me. Give me overflow, God. I'm believing you for greater. Well, what have you given? Come on, Abraham. You love me? Sacrifice your son. God saw that Abraham loved his son, but he wanted to make sure that Abraham's son didn't take his place. God see that you have riches. He see that you have great things, but he wants to make sure that the money that he's given you hasn't taken his place. And a lot of people has made money their God. This is why it's a fight to give to God, but it's easy to give to a restaurant. This is why it's a fight to give unto God, but it's easy to give to Louis Vuitton when Louis Vuitton ain't got no heaven and hell to put you in. Louis Vuitton ain't put breath in your body. Neiman Marcus ain't give you eyes to see. Come on, J.C. Penney ain't give you ears to hear. But the God that daily loads us with benefits, giving us new mercies every morning, why I go to give to God? Why he got to put breath in your body? Why he got to protect you from danger seen and unseen? See, the thing is, this thing is weight in the spirit. It's weight. That's why he said, you sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. But if you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. Everybody said, enlarge my territory, oh Lord. Everybody want God to bless them indeed, but what have you given God? What have you given other than lip service? He said, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are so far from me. Why would God say that your heart is so far from him? He said, because wherever your treasure is, your money, he said, there will your heart be also. If you ever want to check what you love and who have your heart, just look throughout your checkbook. Just look at your credit card receipts. That's where you can tell who you really love. Because when we really love God, get one of the properties wrong. When you really love God, it's not a fight to give to God. Just like it's not a fight for us to give to a nice restaurant that we enjoy. Why is it a fight to give to God? Because we haven't really fallen into love with God. We love the benefit of God. We love his healing, his increase, his peace, his breakthrough. But when you really love God, you say, here, Father, this yours anyways. Get this. You don't fight with giving God his 10% of tithing and offering. You don't fight with giving because you're helping to keep his will going in the earth. And as you take care of God's will in the earth, God's going to take care of you in the earth. It's real. Divine exchange. There's no way that you're going to make sure that the will of God keeps going in the earth and God not turn around and take care of your will in the earth. Divine exchange. But what the devil is on assignment to do is make it where you don't hear no preaching. Good morning, woman of God. Where you don't hear no worship. Nothing about God. He want to make it where everywhere you look, you see liquor stores, clubs, bars, strip clubs, drug dealers standing on the corner. So that way when he sends thoughts of depression and suicide, you take your life. Because there's nobody there to speak life to you. That way when he sends attacks against your marriage, you run right to divorce court. Because there's nobody there to, to speak life into you. To tell you that you can make it. To bind the spirit of confusion. We cannot allow the enemy to win. God is depending on those of us that claim that we love him. To keep his will going in the earth before he cracked the sky. Because his, his return is so near. It's so near. It's getting closer and closer and closer and closer. He's soon to come. Soon to come. Amen. Soon to come. 
very soon to come. But I want to read this this morning. Genesis chapter 37. Because this is the season that we got to be alert. Genesis 37. And Jacob dwelt in the land therein. His father was, and Jacob dwelt there, dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. Listen, these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph being 17 years old was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with his, the sons of um, Bil, Bilhah and with Bilhah, well, Bilhah and with the sons of Zelpah. His father's wives and Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children. So the dad loved his son more than all of his children. How many of y'all know people hate to see the way that God loves you? People hate to see the way that God favors you. People hate to see the love of God just shine and radiate throughout your life. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Father, I thank you for the time and offering that came. You might be at work. That came from the woman of God. Your name starts with an M. God, even as she's giving you a 10% of tithe and offering, God, I decree and I declare open heaven over this woman of God. And I ask right now, God, that you will continue to rebuke the devourer for her namesake. I speak increase abundance, favor, surround her with peace. In Jesus' name, thank you, woman of God, for sending your tithe and offering unto God. So it says here, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children. Because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a coat of many colors. So he made his son a beautiful coat. And when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his children, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Be mindful of those that hate you just because of the favor that's on your life. Can I tell you something? There are people that don't even like you and you ain't did nothing wrong to them. People can't even find a reason to explain why they don't like you. They just don't. And, it's, and it has nothing to do with you, nothing that you did to them personally. It's just because of what God has on your life. The grace that you carry. The anointing that you have. The favor that's on your life. So you find co-workers talking bad about you. You find people that you thought was your friend talk about, talking bad about you. People that you've been the best to. People that you went in your savings and you helped. People that you helped them from being evicted. People that you was there to pray for them, encourage them, being a listening ear when they're going through their dark times. And them be the same ones that turn on you. Good morning, Miss Tiffany. Be careful. You can, I want you to pay attention to the response of the people when God begins to do great things in your life. Pay attention how people respond. Can they celebrate your successes or do they start to disappear? Do they start to become ghosts you no longer see them? Or they be like, oh, okay, must be nice. I wish it was me. But they can't tell you congratulations. Pay attention. The Bible say, know them that labor among you. You got to know what's around you. Amen. So it says here, and when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all of his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. All because of the favor that's on your life. They don't like you. Many of you, y'all see the great things that I do, God, God allows me to do. You see all the blessing that God used me to do. But can I tell y'all something? A lot of people don't like me. I know some of y'all be like, why don't they like you? Why won't they like, why are you, if for real people don't like you? Yes. Let me tell you something. Not only does, does the anointing destroy the yoke, but the anointing make demons uncomfortable. So those that are being used by demonic forces, they're not going to like you. And the Bible said, count it all joy when they speak evil against you, when they make up lies upon you. Count it all joy. You hear me? Count it all joy. There are people that do not like you. Some people, we don't even personally know them and they don't like us. All because of the favor that's on your life. But I declare that we're covered and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So it says here, and Joseph dreamed a dream. And he told his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. Be careful who you share your dreams with. Be careful who you open up and tell what God is doing in your life. Listen, I um, so yesterday I posted a video. And I posted a video when I had a cab ride. And I um, you know, and I shared the, the screenshot, because you know Tabitha Brown, right? Um, so I shared Tabitha Brown shared the video on her page. 
So I shared the, I took the screen, I'm talking, oh my God, Tabitha Brown shared the video, you know, of my cat ride, with, um, you know, with Deanna. And literally, I sent it to somebody and they acted, started treating me so differently. Can I tell you something? The favor that's on your life will cause people that don't even personally like you, that don't even personally know you to dislike you. The favor that's on your life and what God is doing through you, people that you don't even personally know will start treating you bad. And I want to say this to those of you that God has connected you to genuine people. Never allow the opinion of jealous hearted people to cause you to push away a genuine person. Can I say that again? Never allow the opinions of jealous hearted people to make you push away a genuine person that God has sent to your life. Because everybody's not going to like when God sends you a pure person. Somebody that wants to be a blessing to you. Somebody that wants to enhance your life. There are people on the outside watching that be like, bro, you shouldn't talk to her. Or you should talk to him, bro. Because they're jealous. And wishing that they had that access. Wishing that it was them instead of you. So they're trying to talk you out of connection that God has sent to you. Don't push away your destiny helpers because of the opinions of jealous hearted people. Do you hear me? This is why we need to be alert. And in this season, stay vigilant. Amen. So he says here, verse, he says, and he said, so verse five, and Joseph dreamed the dream and he told it his brethren and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, here, I pray you this dream, which I have dreamed for behold, we were binding sheaves in the field and lo, my sheep arose and also stood upright and behold, your sheaves stood round about and made um, obeisance um, well, over to my sheep like literally begin to bow to it. and his brethren said to him shall thou indeed reign over us or shall thou indeed have dominion over us can I prophesy to you this morning God is causing you to reign hallelujah God is causing you to reign he's catapulting you to the top why not because of any goodness of your own because you keep your heart pure because you refuse to treat people the way that they treated you. Because you walked in integrity. Because you didn't try to use what God is doing in your life to try to come against somebody. But you kept your heart pure. You continue to bless those who curse you. You pray for those who despitefully use you. You didn't allow it to make you become cold and started treating them the way that they were doing you. He's about to cause you to reign. He's about to cause you to take over. To have dominion. Why? So that more souls can be won for the glory of God. Remember, it's not about us. Souls must be won. So we have to always walk in humility. Humility. Somebody coming on the street, stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. People look at me, how you let all these different people come on at the same and that's anointed? Because I'm kingdom minded. I don't care how anointed, more anointed they may be than me how they can sing circles around me or pray me on the table. Guess what? It's about the kingdom. And the Bible said that we're one body with many members. So I'm not going to allow somebody to make me feel jealous because they can sing or because they can pray because they have access to the Father. I want everybody to win. I want us all to get what God has for us. Amen. So it says here, and his brother said to him, thou shalt indeed reign over us. Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And I want to say this to those of you that are watching. Don't take it personal when people don't like you. Don't take it personal when people speak evil against you that don't even personally know you. Don't take it personal. It's because the favor that's on your life. It's because of what God is doing through you. And everybody can't take the favor. This is why they gossip and talk about you. This is why they make up stuff about you. Don't even person know you, but got all kind of negative stuff to say about you. It's because of what God has placed on your life. I want you to just prophesy today. I'm anointed for this. Come on. I want you to just declare that today. I am anointed for this. Good morning, Rodney. I am anointed for this. Come on. Can you just prophetically declare that over your life this morning? I'm anointed for this. I'm not going to allow this to make me break. I'm not going to allow this to cause me to give up on what God has called me to do. I'm not going to allow the opinions of man to cause me to give up. Good morning, Michael. Love you more, brother. 
I'm not going to allow this to make me throw in the towel. I'm anointed for this. And if God be for me, who can be against me? If God be for me, who can be against me? The Bible says that when my enemies come in like a flood, that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. So I declare we won't break. We won't fall. We won't give up because of who we thought was for us. And all of a sudden they're showing us that they really don't mean us any well. Why? Because I'm anointed for this. And because I'm anointed for this, God's going to continue to elevate me no matter who. And why, let me tell you something about God. Some of you wonder why this door didn't open. Why that way or why did that get closed? Because God don't want nobody to take the credit for what he's about to do in your life. God don't want nobody to try to get the glory or say, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't get this. Won't nobody be able to get the credit but God. And this is why there's some doors that God didn't allow to open up for you because he knew that the heart of those people were wicked. And they would try to make it seem like they're the reason why that you got what you got. But I want you to just prophetically declare, Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Come on, I want you to just prophetically declare that today. Jesus did it. Come on, you didn't do nothing. Jesus did it. You didn't do nothing. Jesus did it. Amen. You didn't do nothing. Jesus did it. Amen. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Hallelujah. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, all these other things shall be added unto you. But you got to put me first. And because we've been making time to put him first, showing God that money hasn't become our God, freely giving, tithing, he has to elevate us for his glory. So he says here, I mean, they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars made obedience um, obes, um, obes, um, to me. Amen. Obesence to me. Like literally like it begins to, you know, to, to cause me to rain on me like it was on me. Like the sun and stuff. It, it began to shine on me. Like, like look up to me. So he says in verse number 10, and he told it to his father and into his brethren and his father rebuked him. Be careful of those that try to reject you because of what God is getting ready to do in your life. Everybody's not going to be able to understand what God is about to do in your life. They're not going to be able to handle it. And get this, sometimes it will be your own relatives. That's why you got to leave that place of familiarity so that God can elevate your life. Because there's some people that don't want to see you increase. There's some people that don't want to see you walk in favor. We're at Genesis chapter 12, Miss, um, Miss Alea. I mean, Genesis chapter 37, verse number 10. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? He said, What is this? You mean to tell me me and the family gonna bow to you? You mean to tell me that we gonna look up to you as your parent? Can I just prophesy to you? There are people that you used to look, to look up to that's about to turn and get advice from you. God is turning the tables. There were people that we once held in high regards that now God is about to turn it around and they're going to have to come to you for direction. They're going to have to come to you for an answer. What does God say about this? What do you think I should do about this? Somebody ought to come and God is turning the table. That's right, woman of God, you beat me. Come on, somebody come and God is turning the table. Come on. The last going to be first. The overlooked about to get, they got to get the catapult to the top. The ones that knew that you were anointed for the assignment, but they kept giving it to the wrong ones. God is bringing you to the front. And Father, I thank you for the tithe that came from the woman of God. Remember, tithe is 10% of whatever we earn plus an offering. God, I thank you for the tithe that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with an M. I declare open heaven over your life. I bind the spirit of lack. And as you're giving God that 10%, I decree and I declare an open heaven over your life that God will continue to rebuke the devourer for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, thank you for your obedience to the Holy Spirit and sending your tithe, woman of God. So verse number 11, we're at Genesis 37, verse 11. And his brother envied him, but his father observed the same. So his father began to think about it, but his brother started to hate him. 
Can I tell y'all something, people of God? You can always tell when God is getting ready to do something major in your life by the way that people try to respond to you, start to respond to you. Random people you don't even personally know don't like you. Don't even know you outside of social media, but they got to be forgetting you. All they see is the things that God used you to do. Don't even know you, but don't like you. But can I just prophetically declare to you, they can't stop what God has for you. They can't stop what God has for you. Verse number 13. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock and shikim. Come and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here I am. And he said to him, Go, I will pray thee. See whether it be well with thy brethren and well with the flocks. And bring me word again. So he sent out the veil of Hebron and came to Shechem. And a certain man found him and bold. He was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, what seeketh thou? He says, he said, what seeketh thou? Believe in God for poverty and lack to be broken. Amen. We will receive your seed and I bind the spirit of poverty and lack from up your life, woman of God. And I call for an increase in Jesus' name. Your name starts with a D. You just gave through Venmo, so you know I'm talking to. So he said, and he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, they are departed hence. For I heard them say, let's go on um, to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dalton. So he went to go look for his brothers. Amen. He went to go look for his brothers and he found his brothers up in Dalton, right? Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We give you glory, Jesus. That's how you know the word is true when a person got to come in and be a distraction. Because if it ain't true, why you got to come tell us that? Evidently, the truth hurts. So you're coming in here saying distraction stuff, but you can't stop God. Amen. So he says, I heard them. Let us go to Dathan. And so he went and found them in Dathan. Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near to them, they conspired against him to slay him. So they begin to try to come up ways with, how can I stop him? How can I block him? How can I stop his purpose? How can I stop this dream from manifesting? Can I tell y'all something, people of God? There are people literally in your life plotting to see how they can stop you from going through certain doors. Gatekeepers. There are literally people that you shared a lot of stuff to and you thought was your friend. And they're the main ones keeping it from manifesting. Thank you, woman of God, for that. I declare a thousandfold return back in Jesus' name. But I want everybody to comment on the stream. I won't get slain. Come on, I want you to declare that I won't get slain. I won't be stopped on my assignment. Come on, I won't be blocked. Amen. I won't get slayed. S-L-A-Y-E-D. You won't slay my purpose. You won't slay the vision that God has for me. You won't slay my destiny. Come on, you won't slay what God... See, people use slay as if it's a good thing, but slay is not a good thing. When you say slay something, that means you cutting something down. You stopping it, you blocking it. When people say, ooh, they slayed you. Like, no, 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 I won't get slayed. I won't get stopped. The Bible says the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The enemy will send people to connect themselves with you to slay you. To try to sabotage your purpose. To try to keep you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. But I declare that you won't get slain. Why? Because you're anointed for this. And if God be for you, who can be against you? So they begin to plot against their brother. I want to tell you something, people of God. In this season, there's going to be places where doors can open up and God will tell you don't go. You'll get invited places, but God will say don't go because they don't mean you any well. It's a setup. They really don't like you. They want to take advantage of you. But I declare that you won't get slayed. Your business won't get slayed. Your family won't get slayed. Your health, your destiny, everything that God has for you, it will not get stopped. Why? Because you're anointed for this. And the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Amen. This morning, those of you that are here, one of the things that God has taught me is about the power of sacrifice. The Bible says that he gives seed to the sower. But he said, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap it. So today we're going to declare, I am anointed for this. And because if God be for me, who can be against me? So this morning, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of $100. If God tell you to get more, you give us a sacrifice for you. Why do I say 100 Because the Bible says you sow sparingly, 
you reap sparingly. And a lot of times we just throw anything at God. But if I can spend $100 on a haircut, why am I giving God any less? If we can spend $80 to fill the gas tank, why are we giving God any less? He says to whom much is given, much is required. So when we give, look, so as God increases us, he requires more out of us. He said, if you be faithful over the few, then I'll make you rule over many. Some of us, the reason why God ever given you thousands is because he can't trust you with the hundreds. Some of you, the reason why God ever given you millions because he can't trust you with the thousands. He's given you a grace for success and you still don't give him his portion. But you keep the malls in business. You keep the clubs going. You faithfully give to the strip clubs. You faithfully give to the bars. You faithfully support the drug habit. habit. But today, we're going to put a demand in the spirit realm. Those of you that can, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of 100. If you don't got it, don't say you ain't got it. You don't have to give. But those of you that believe that God is about to do something amazing in your life, you believe that there's some great doors God is about to open up for you. You believe that the favor of God is on your life. This morning, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of 100. If God tell you to give more, you give more. I'm going to give more than 100. But we're going to name our seed. I am anointed for this. I'm anointed for this. And the Bible says, whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. So because I'm putting a demand in the spirit and I'm declaring that I'm anointed for this, that means I'm not going to break. I'm not going to fail. Nothing is going to stop us from fulfilling what God has called us to do. In fact, because I'm sowing in faith, God is about to open up even greater doors. Greater doors. Increasing the businesses. Healing breakthrough. Why? Because we're anointed for this. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. We receive your tithe. Your name starts with a C. And Father, I thank you for this woman of God, even as she's given her 10% of tithe and offering. God, I declare according to Malachi chapter 3, an open heaven over our life. I bind every spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, and I send it back to the pits of hell. God, I call for an increase of abundance. And I declare as your word said, open heaven, that you will continue to rebuke the divine for her name's sake. In Jesus' name. Those of you that are sowing this morning, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of $100. If you're giving through cash out, um, uh, woman of God, it's the cash out. Um, make sure that you give to the correct one. It's the first one that pops up. Dollar symbol H-E-A-V-E-N-S impact. I-M-P-A-C-T. Those of you that are watching on TikTok, that's the correct cash out. My face picture is not on there. So if you see a cash out, that has my face picture on it. It's not me. Thank you, Miss um, Christia. Let me pin your comment. So let me show y'all. This is the correct cash out for those of you that are watching. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's right here. Heavens will want us then impact. Make sure that you name your seed. I am anointed for this. And because I'm anointed for this, ain't nothing going to stop us. Ain't nothing going to block us. Amen. Nothing's going to stop what God is doing in, my, in our lives. Amen. Because we're anointed for this. Hallelujah. Information below will appear on Cash App. Hold on, let me go. Um, thank you, Lord. To the I wonder why it's not showing me what's on my cash. That is so weird. Weird. It's like it removed the information from off of my cash app. Business will also see. Amen. That's weird. It's like it removed the information from off of my cash app. Edit profile, basic info. Um, basic info. It took the basic info off of um. Um, off of my pay, off of my cash app. Hold on, let me, um, let me I'm going to put something on there now so y'all know it's me. Amen. I'm just going to put, um, so this way y'all don't know which one is the correct cash app. I'm going to put, I am anointed for this. I am anointed. Thank you, Lord, for this. Hallelujah. I'm anointed for this. So that way y'all don't know which one is the correct cash app. I am anointed for this. Hallelujah. That's so weird. That made me feel like cash at the name you entered not the word. Please move. Okay. Hold on. Let me go back. Um, I am anointed for this. Amen. Edit bio information. That's so weird. It won't let me put no information on there. That is so weird. That just go to show you these things are all, like I wouldn't be surprised if all these pages and stuff are being ran by the same people. It won't even let me put information on my page. It says basic info, info. it says info below will appear on your cash app, but it's not let me put anything. That's so weird. All it says is heaven's impact. But that way you'll know which one is the correct one. Heaven's with one S in impact. And you'll see the look, the green um, suitcase. They put a suitcase there. So it's like a green suitcase instead of a building. You see it? It's a green suitcase there. It's like a suitcase or something, a bag that it puts there, a green suitcase or a bag now. 
Instead of, thank you, woman of God, we receive your seed. Amen. I'm a prayer, but make sure that you name your seed. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with an L. And I declare that you are anointed for this. I bind every attack of the enemy that will try to come against your life, against your purpose. I speak increase over your life. That God will cause you to fulfill the purpose in Jesus' name. Wait, there's two of them. Sweetheart, it's only one spell. Heavens with one S in impact. Heavens with one S in impact. The first one that pops up, if you look at it, it always pay attention to the cash tag. Never go by the name at the top. So you look at the dollar symbol, right? And where it says H-E-A-V-E-N-S, impact. That's the correct one. All right? Um, those of you that are asking, make sure that you name your seed today. I am anointed for this. Amen. And because I'm anointed for this, God ain't going to let me fail. He's not going to let them block us. He's not going to let them stop us. He's not going to allow the enemy to come in and wreak havoc in our life. Amen. I'm anointed for this. Amen. So I'm about to go back on so it can refresh. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let me see. All right. So I clicked out of it. Amen. Let me see. Remember, we're giving a sacrificial seed of 100. If you, if God tell you to give, give more, you give more. But if you don't have it, you give your best seed. But make sure that you name your seed. I am anointed for this. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with a Z. And I declare greater over your life. May God multiply your seed for sowing and do exceeding abundantly above all that you can actually think because you sowed into this soil. Amen. Um, mine was created. I can tell you we created this cash out. It don't show me. Um... Thank you, Lord. Hold on, I can't see um, when we created it. Hold on one second. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with a T. And I declare greater over your life. Heavens with one S in impact. All right? It should be the first one that pops up. Amen? Heavens with one S in impact. But this right here make me feel like these, all these different apps and stuff, this make me feel like these people are behind all these fake pages. Just like the Facebook pages, how other countries and stuff, because they got other countries that are running our Facebook pages and stuff. So now it's a bunch of fake pages being created because they got people in other countries that's that's handling everything. This is show even more because literally all the information I put on the bio, I can't even see. It won't even show me and it won't let me edit it. Amen. It won't even let me edit it. Make sure that you name your seat. I'm anointed for this. And Father, I thank you for the seat that came from the man of God. Your name starts with a day. A D, sorry. I bind every assignment of the enemy from your life, and I declare because of your obedience and sowing into this soil that God will catapult you for his glory and multiply your seed for sowing. In Jesus' name. You say, I sent money last week, but then that was the wrong one, Antoine. The correct one, you'll see it's a picture that says, make room for what you've been praying for because it's on the way. It's a white background with black writing. Make room for what you've been praying for because it's on the way. So those of you that are giving heavens with one S, Amen. Then impact, I-M-P-A-C-T. It should be the first one that pops up. All right. Um, for those of you that want to get through the Venmo, Tasia, you lying. You don't even follow the page. Talking about you hope you pick the right one. Stop lying. I'm talking about, boy, these witches are mad, y'all. Monitor and spirit. Just mad. I should have blocked you, but I muted you. Amen. Tell me, I, I may have sent to the wrong one. Don't even follow the page. Just lying. Amen. Those of you, make sure that you name your own um, seed. I am anointed for this. Amen. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with an S. Father, even as she released the seed, I declare greater. I pray right now, God, that everything that the locust, the cake worm, has tried to eat up from her, God, give it back. Give her holy boldness that she will stand firm and undo what thus says the Lord. And I also speak healing to your body. I bind every attack of the enemy from off your health, woman of God. Your name starts with an S. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Those of you that are given, make sure that you name your seed. I am anointed for this. If you're given through, um, thank you, Lord, um, through Venmo. The Venmo is at Pastor C. Edwards. Can y'all hear me on Instagram so I can know? Can y'all hear me good, Carlos, on Instagram? Um, heavens with one S an impact on, um, on Cash App. But if you're giving through Venmo, it's at Pastor C. Edwards. So those of you that are giving through Venmo, it's at P-A-S-T-O-R-C-E-D-W-A-R-D-S. Somebody said, why is it always about money? Because the Bible says in Genesis 8 and 22, as long as the earth remains, it will be seed time and harvest. And there's no harvest without first planting seed. A farmer can't just walk out on the field and say, oranges grow, mangoes grow. Apples grow. What does a farmer do? He plants and the harvest comes. So there is no harvest without planting. So those of you that think that God is supposed to give you increase, he can't increase you when you have no seed in the ground. Amen. So I did the right thing. I moved, I removed her from the live. Amen. Um, those of you who were given a sacrificial seed of 100 or you give whatever you can. Amen. That's why we sow. 
Because there's no harvest without first planting seed to the person that had something to say. Amen. Um, yeah, so I did the right thing because she was talking about this dragon on Instagram. So instead of even asking her, I just removed her from the video because I felt like she was lying. So I'm glad I obeyed the Holy Spirit. So she was lying. Amen. Talking about this dragon. Amen. Those of you, make sure that you name your seed. Amen. I am anointed for this. Amen. Hallelujah. I am anointed for this. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Those of you also, thank you, Aunt Tank, for posting it for me. If you're giving through Zelle, all right, the Zelle um, is under um, the email address. A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, O-I-N, T as in Terrell, E-D-S-I-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Amen. Those of you that are giving through, um, thank you, um, I'm a prayer of your seed. Those of you that are giving through, um, through Zelle, excuse me, the Zelle is connected to the email address. That's A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, O-I-N, T as in Terrell, E-D-S-I-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Thank you, um, y'all, for letting me know. So um, if you're giving through um, Zelle, it's under the email address. Make sure that you name your seed. I am anointed for this. Amen. For those of you that are giving through, um, what is the thing called, Lord? Um, the website. Thank you. By using your bank debit or credit card, you can give it www.corneli.com. U.S. Edwards.com. Make sure that you name your seed. I am anointed for this. Thank you, man of God. We receive your seed and I bind the spirit of lack from off your life. And I pray that God will activate your faith to trust him on a greater level. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Sweetheart, um, I don't listen. When you when you sow a seed, I just refunded you back your money. When you sow a seed, you don't speak fa failure over it. All right. So a um, man of God, your name starts with, let me see, um, official and you got and your name starts with a J. I refunded you back your seed because when you sow, you sow in faith. You don't want to put on there what you lost or what you're going through. Amen. You sowing in faith. What do you want God to do? I'm declaring I'm anointed for this. I won't break. I won't fold. I'm going to fulfill what God has called me to do. You don't sow a seed and place fear on me. Right? You don't sow a seed and say about what you lost. Because when you're sowing and you're declaring that you lost something, you're declaring that you will continue to lose. Because every seed has an assignment, right? So instead of me just receiving your money, allowing you to curse your life, my brother, I sit it back. Just name the seed. I am anointed for this. All right, my brother? Your name starts with a J. You don't have to put that you lost your car or lost you. You don't have to put all that. That you lost your house, all this and stuff. No, we bind that spirit. Amen. We bind every spirit of, 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 of losing stuff, poverty. And we send that back to the pits of hell. Don't ever declare that over your seed. Declare, I am anointed for this. Amen. Because a lot of times people try to use manipulation to get me to sow back into them. By saying it's their last. Or saying that they're going through so much. Because they want me to say, oh, well, let me give something back to them. God had to stop me from doing that. Because sometimes I was so back in the person don't even send their tithe back. And he said, this is why they stuck. They don't tithe. They don't give. Sowing into this ground is real. God has had someone to fully pay for my single, including radio. This is amazing ground. Wow. Thank you for sharing your testimony, uh, Prophetess Rhonda. Thank you. To God be the glory. Sowing shifts things. If only the body of Christ will recognize that. Amen. I'm not ignoring y'all, those of you that are sowing. Amen. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. God, I rebuke and bind every voice of the enemy that tries to play with your thoughts. Your name starts with an L. And God, even as she released this seed in faith, declaring that she's anointed for this, Father, I bind the spirit of insecurity and I declare boldness. And I ask right now, God, that you multiply her seed for soul. In the name of Jesus. Your name starts with an um, S, woman of God. So you know I'm talking to. I mean, no, an L. Amen. Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the man of God. Your name starts with an M. I bind the spirit of lack, poverty, setback, failure. And I send it back to the pits of hell. And God, I ask right now that you multiply his seed for sowing. Love you too, Vaughn. Increase his seed for sowing as he's putting you first. Also, thank you for the seed that came from the man of God official and your name starts with a J. I bind and rebuke the spirit of lack from off of your life and I send it back to the pits of hell. And as you continue to put God first, I call for an increase. God, teach him the importance of being a faithful tither that you'll rebuke the divine for his name's sake. Do you see what Tithing did for the young lady? Do y'all see the, the video that I posted? I, I, I got a cab ride. And the Lord allowed me to sow $3,000 in her life. And I told her, 
I said, start tithing. I said, give God his 10%. I said, watch how God rebuked the divine, how he opened up the windows of heaven and poured you out a blessing. She tithed and obeyed the instruction and look what happened. She got on the Jennifer Hudson show. I'm telling you, you can't rob God, but expect God to increase your life. Thank you, woman of God. We receive your zeal. Your name starts with a C. And I declare that you're anointed for this. I call for an increase to your trucking business. Overflow. That God will continue to give you peace. And that he restore everything that the locust, the cankerworm, and the palmworm has tried to eat up. Woman of God, your name starts with a W. Amen. You just gave you zeal. God, even as this woman of God has released this seed of faith, I declare that she's anointed for this. I call for an increase. God, multiply her seed for soon. God, give her overflow. And I even speak healing to your body. God, you say give and it shall be given. So God, even as this woman of God just gave in faith, God, give her healing. Restore her health in the name of Jesus. And I'm telling you the word of God works, y'all. This principle about sowing and reaping, don't let the devil play with your mind and make you think, I'm a prayer for y'all see, don't let the devil play with your mind and thank you, make you think we only supposed to give to get earthly goods. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So you don't mind giving thousands for a nice car. You don't mind giving thousands for a nice, you know, home or nice, um, you know, or to keep your business going. But the Bible says, store up your treasures in heaven where thief no moth can break in and steal. Anytime I'm contributing so that the gospel is being preached and souls are being won. God, not only does God bless us here on earth, but we got treasures in heaven. But anybody that feel like I ain't got to give to God, God don't need my money, it ain't about that, I ain't got to give none to God. So where are you storing up your treasures in? See, people like that, you're just focused on getting it here and now on the earth. But we're living to live again. Amen. This earth ain't our home. There's going to come a judgment day where God is going to righteously judge us. What is a righteous judgment? He's going to speak of the good things that we did so that his kingdom kept going in the earth. He's going to speak of the great things that we gave, how we faithfully tied, how we faithfully sold, how we didn't rob him, how we made it possible so that souls can be won. A righteous judgment, not reflecting on our sins because he remembers those no more. But the thing is with many believers, you have no way in the spirit. You don't tithe. You don't give God 10% of your earnings. You don't sow. But you always got your hands out saying, God, give me overflow. Give me healing. Give me peace. Give me breakthrough. But you ain't gave nothing. He said, give. And it shall be given. It's a divine exchange. If God had to give his only begotten son, what makes you think you're not supposed to give anything? Have no weight in the spirit. You're so powerful. I needed this word for my birthday. I was just talking about this with my sister. To God be the glory, my brother, tithing stops the curse. The Bible says if you don't tithe, you're cursed with a curse. Mr. Christopher, please don't send money calling to the seed, my brother. I just said that earlier. I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the video. We don't send money and name the seed. Every seed has an assignment. So if you're sending money and you're calling the seed, what is the assignment of the seed? Name the seed so I know what I'm coming in agreement with you in prayer back. About, I just refunded it back to you. Please name your seed, my brother. Amen. Name your seed what you're believing God for. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Name it. Amen. And watch God meet the need. And Father, I thank you for the seed. Y'all can call me crazy for refunding money, but I'm going to tell y'all something. It works. Sowing shifts things immediately. And if you knew the power of sacrifice, you stop receiving money from everybody. Because there are people that will sow into you to cause you to be stagnant. You hear me? There are people that will sow into you to block you, to stop you from fulfilling purpose. It's real. That's why you don't receive everything that people give you. Don't be so eager to receive money, but ask them, what is the assignment of this? What you believe in God for? If they can't tell you what the assignment of it is, don't receive it. Tell them you can have it. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me, but you can keep it because all money ain't good money. Amen. Remember, we're giving a sacrificial seed of $100 and we're naming it. I am anointed for this. If you don't got it, you give your best sacrifice. Some of us, God, don't tell us to give more. Why? Because we're expecting him to do so much greater. So my faith and my seed should connect together. My seed should match my faith. So if I'm expecting God to enlarge my territory, to do great things in my life, I shouldn't be throwing God just anything, but expecting God to give me the best. He said, to whom much is given, much is required. 
So if God is going to give us more, he requires more out of us. Divine exchange. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with a T. God, even as this woman of God has released this seed, I bind the spirit of fear, worry, anxiety, stress, and I send it back to the pits of hell. And because she released this seed of faith saying she's anointed for this, God, I pray that you help this woman of God to fulfill the purpose, the call that you set her out to do, God. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with an M. God, even as she released the seed saying, I'm anointed for this. God, I declare greater over her life. I ask right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you give her what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of men what you have prepared for those who love you. God, do it for her now. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, I just refunded you back your seed twice. So when you're sowing, amen, this is how I want you to name your seed. God, increase my life. God, open doors for me. Amen, because you name your seed and just put ministry opportunities. You could be sowing to stop me from getting ministry opportunities. And then you put pastoring. You could be sowing to stop me from doing the will of God. So just because a seed has one name on it, it can mean a whole lot. And this is why people pass for lack of knowledge. Because somebody can name a seed healthy. You're thinking, oh, they want me to pray to God, give them healing. When all the while they're sowing to attack your help. So, man of God, your name starts with a seed. I'll, I'll refund you back your seed twice. Name your seed what you're believing God to do. So, if you want it, you're believing God for ministry door, God open doors for my ministry. God open door, increase my ministry so that I can do your will. Amen. God opened doors for me to pass through, if that's what you're believing. But just put ministry opportunities, you can be so and so that I don't get ministry opportunities. It's real, y'all. Think it's a joke. The devil laughs at many believers because he knows that most Christians will go to church, shout, dance, speak in tongues, run around the church, but we won't apply the word to our life. But gone are those days. No longer will we be ignorant of the enemy's devices. We're going to activate our faith and we're going to put a demand in the spirit. We're not going to allow the enemy to keep taking our stuff. He's not going to steal our peace. He's not going to steal our joy. He's not going to take our harvest. There are people that sacrifice so that your business never open up. Some of you wonder why your business still ain't open up. You got people that are sowing big money so that your business don't open up. And I'm talking about there are people that will give their whole paycheck because they don't want to see doors open up for you. It's real. People that sacrifice because they want to see you get a divorce. Everybody smiling in your face is not excited about what God is doing in your life. It's real. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came for the woman of God. Your name starts with an M. God, as she's declaring that she's anointed for this. God, I prophesy greater. God, make her a kingdom funder because she's so diligent in giving to your kingdom. I call for an increase or overflow like never before that let never be a part of her life. I pray right now, God, that you give this woman of God things that she didn't even ask you for just because she's proven that she can be trusted with it. God, give her greater. Make her kingdom funder because she diligently gives to your kingdom, God, without a fight. Let me tell y'all something I watch. I know I be uh, ministering and praying and stuff, but I pay attention to who so I can tell you who faithfully tied. Why? Because I pray over the seeds. You're not a member here. You know how sometimes you can give your tithe to a mega church and the pastor don't even know who you are? Don't even know your name? I pray over every single tithe that come into this soil. Every single seed that gets sown. I call your name out. Every one of them. Intentionally. It's real. Amen? It's real. Thank you, Lord. It's real. Hallelujah. It's real. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's real. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody just tagged me something. Thanks, bro. Um, thank you, Lord. God, somebody tagged me in a post. God gets all of the glory. Somebody tagged me saying, I love Pastor C. Man, he brings me so much joy. Um, uh, Father Flex, thank you from Atlanta. Um, thanks, bro. God gets all the glory. Amen. Just responding. He, I guess somebody's asking him to tag anointed people that they know. I don't know. So he tagged me on a post or something. So, amen. But listen, oh, 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 it's for, um, oh, for the, Taco Tuesday, okay, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, so it works. It works. 
Amen. I was just telling y'all about something. Where was I just at? Holy Spirit, I was just telling y'all about something that happened. Thank you, Lord. I was just telling y'all about something that happened. But Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the man of God. Your name starts with an end. God, even a good morning, my sister. Um, um, I am Sh um, Shia. Thank you for joining us, um, woman of God. Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the man of God. Your name starts with an end. God, even as he released his seed in faith, he says, I am anointed for this. Father, I call for the greater. God, I pray that you open up even greater doors for this man of God and multiply his seed for so I even speak peace to his mind, that he won't worry, that he won't stress. God, you say your yoke is easy, your burdens are light. So God, whatever the man of God has been carrying, you know who you are, man of God. Your name starts with the end. I ask that you lift the load and meet the needs, the petition that he has set before you, God. Provide for him in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with a C. God, even as a woman of God, you declare, I am anointed, I am anointed for this in Jesus' name. Father, I declare greater. I ask right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you give her more than she ever expect. God, do it now in the name of Jesus. I declare greater over your life. And I speak healing to your body, woman of God. Your name starts with a C. You know you are because sometimes you send gifts too. Amen. And Father, I thank you for the um, seed that came from my brother. You got the Holy Ghost, bro. You in the spirit. Your name starts with an M. Amen. Father, I thank you for the seed. Even as my brother just declared that he's anointed for this. I ask right now, God, that you bring forth restoration in every area that the enemy has been trying to come against. God, restore his peace. Restore his joy. I call for an increase. I bind every attack of the enemy that will try to come against his purpose. And I ask right now, God, that you continue to allow his gifts to make room for him in the anointing that you placed on him. In Jesus' name, what is a gift? A gift isn't a talent. A gift is something that you're presenting. So your gift makes room for you. The thing is, we don't want to give a gift. We don't want to give unto God. Every time they came before God, they had a gift. Look at the woman that, that poured out the expensive perfume on Jesus. She poured out a year's worth of her wages on him. And the people call her crazy. How are you going to survive? You giving God your whole year's worth of wages in expensive perfume? Then they tried to act like they was concerned. Huh? You can give to the homeless. You can help the people. And Jesus said, the homeless you have with you always. He said, they weren't concerned about no homeless. She recognized what's more important. Can I tell you something? The lover of our soul is more important than anything on this earth. Because while we try to worry about giving a person tangible food, what about their soul? What about where they're going to spend eternity? The Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. This is why when we tithe, we're not supposed to give to an organization. We're not supposed to tithe to a charity. We're not supposed to tithe to a nonprofit. The Bible says that the tithe is holy unto God. So whenever I'm giving to God, we don't give to God for a 1099, a W-2 form. We don't give to God for the government to give us back a write off what we gave to God. If I'm giving to God and I'm asking the government to write off in my tax write off what I gave to God, that means it's no longer secret and now it's a loan. The Bible said what you're doing is secret, I'll openly reward you. And now you're telling God, uh-uh, God, I don't trust you to hear me. I loaned you that. I need the government to write off what I gave you. So you're telling God you don't trust him to hear you. You don't trust him to increase your life. You don't trust him to keep your business covered. We don't tithe and sow and sacrifice to God for the government to give us back anything. As we give to God, he opens up the windows of heaven. He pours out blessings that we have not room enough to receive. Can't nobody repay you like God can. And this is why so many people being stuck in their hell because you already got your reward. The moment you go to the government and ask them to write off what you gave to God, you got your reward. Amen. The Bible says he loves a cheerful giver. And as we freely give to God, he freely gives us what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, that neither has it entered into the heart of man what he has for us. He has great things in store for our life. Amen. Great things. This is what I want to do. Oh, yeah, I didn't give you guys also. If you're giving through Zale, it's under the email address, anointedsinger at gmail.com. Remember, we're giving a sacrificial seed of 100. We're naming our seed today. I am anointed for this. Amen. I am anointed for this. So if you're giving through Zale, the Zale is A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, O-I-N, T as in Terrell, E-D-S-I-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Also, if you're giving through the website by using your bank debit or credit card, you can give at www.corneliusedwards.com. That is www.corneliusedwards.com. 
N-E-L-I-U-S Edwards Dot com. Remember, we're naming our sacrificial seed of 100 of God tell you to get more. Or if you don't have 100, you give your best seed, your best sacrifice to God. And we're naming our seed this morning. I am anointed for this. Meaning that God is not going to allow the enemy to stop me. He's not going to allow the enemy to cause me not to fulfill purpose. There's still going to be glory. Amen. Eyes have not seen what God is about to do in our life. So don't you dare give up. Don't throw in the towel. And I want to say this again. Everybody's not going to like what God is about to do in your life. And the moment that people begin to show you who they are, know how to deal with them. Can I say that again? The moment that people begin to show you who they are, know how to handle them. Everybody don't deserve access to your life. Everybody don't deserve to be sitting talking on the phone with you all day. Because there are some people that's only connected to you because they want to hear what's going on in your life so that they can know how to stop you. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, there are people that fish for information, monitoring spirits, because they want to know what great things you got going on, what doors, what opportunity God has opened up for you so they can try to figure out a way to stop it. That's right. The Bible says you'll know the truth by the fruit that it bears, woman of God, Miss Dimples. It's real. Amen. This morning, those of you also, the website, www.corneliusetwards.com. That's my first and last name. If you're giving through the mail, those of you that want to give through the mail, that's right. The mailing address is P.O. Box 460-132, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33346. So if you're giving in the mail, it is P.O. Box 460-132, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33346. Again, that is P.O. Box 460-132, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33346. Amen. Um, make sure that when you're giving to the mail, if you're sending your tithe, which is 10% of whatever you earn. So what is tithe? If you made 1000 for the week, that means 100 plus offering belongs to God. If you made 2000 for the week, that means 200 plus offering belongs to God. It's at least 10%. We can always give more, but it's the bare minimum is 10%. Amen. That means if you made 3,000 for the week, 300 plus often belong to God. If you made 10,000 for the week, amen, that means 1,000 plus often belong to God. If you made 100,000 for the week, that means 10,000 plus often belongs to God. 10% of everything that we earn immediately goes to God. That's Malachi chapter 3. And it causes God to rebuke the divine for our name's sake. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out blessing that we have not room enough to receive. It works. Tithing literally stops the curse. Amen. The Bible says if you don't tithe, your curse would have curse. And this is why there's so many believers. Every time you turn around, they need prayer for healing. Prayer for open doors. Prayer. Baby, you should always be in the, in the line for a financial miracle. Every time I turn around, you should be in need financially. The reason why you always got to borrow and you need a loan, because you're robbing God. You got to give God what belongs to him. God can't bless what he's not a part of. He says, if you be faithful over the few, then I'll make you rule over many. It works. Amen. But I want to do this morning is I want us to go through the prayer of repentance. Every believer. Amen. I want to make sure that we know who we belong to. All right. Let me tell y'all something this morning. We're going to go through the prayer of repentance first. Then we're going to go through the prayer of salvation before I pray, you know, over the seeds and stuff that came in. So we're going to go through the prayer of, of repentance. And I want to say this to every believer. This is something that we should do every day. The Bible says a just man falls seven times but it gets back up again. That means every single one of us are just, what is a just man? That's a righteous man. Somebody that loves God, that honors God, even falls seven times a day, including me, the pastor. She said, that's one of my favorite verses. Amen. Thank God for mercy. Even including me, I need the grace and mercy of God daily. He says, because of his mercies, we're not consumed. I'm so glad that God ain't consuming us, that his mercies are new every morning. So what we're going to do this morning we're going to go through the prayer of uh, repentance. We're going to ask God for forgiveness this morning, okay? Every believer, this is something that we should do every day, even throughout the day, okay? So every believer, repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Now, Father, it is written that if I will confess my sin, that you're faithful and you're just enough to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. God, I confess. Father, I've sinned. 
I've done things that are not pleasing unto you. And I ask, Father, that you will please forgive me. Father, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Everybody say amen. And now this is what we're going to do, um, those of you that are watching this morning. We're going to go, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Can I tell y'all something this morning? The Lord is soon to come. And the Bible says that it's not his wish that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It's not the will of God for anybody to die and go to hell. Can I tell you something? Hell wasn't even created for humans. It was created for the devil and those fallen angels that wanted to worship him. It wasn't created for humans. So what we're going to do this morning, we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. And I want to say this. If you're involved in gangs, in cliques, in occultic stuff, come out of that stuff. Because hell is real. And the devil is not your friend. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus has come that we will have life and life more abundantly. Amen. Anybody choose life this morning? Come on, I want you to say, I choose life. Come on, I choose life because Jesus is life. Come on, I choose life. Why do you think you're in a game? Because you're hurting. Only hurt people hurt people, right? So you hurt and you mad. You've been carrying rejection, bitterness, anger in your heart. So it's been making you just take it out on everybody else. People that you don't even know personally, you dislike it. Jealous spirit, coveting. That's a sin to covet, to want what somebody else got. That's a sin. I don't want what nobody got. Can I tell you, they could be a multi-billionaire. They can have, you know, all the best stuff in the world. I don't want what nobody got. I don't. God, I want what you have for me. Because if I can wait and I can get what you got for me, guess what? I can handle it. There's some things we too busy trying to get other people's stuff. You can't even handle what other people got. Can't even handle it. Don't even, you're not even grace for that. I wish it was me. Must be nice. No, I, don't, I want what God has for me. I don't want nobody else blessing. For example, look at Benny, Pastor Benny Hinn. The anointing that's on his life. I don't know what he went through so that he can throw his coat and people can fall on the ground. I don't know the suffering he had to go through. But one thing I do know is that he paid a cost for it. Because the anointing costs. It costs. Oh, yes, it costs. It costs for the oil. Amen. You don't know what people be done went through. He said, I walked into some true talk to God be the glory. You don't know what people we done went through to obtain what God has placed on their life. The suffering, the crushing. Like people look at me and see what God is doing. But you weren't there when I was homeless sleeping in my car. You weren't there when I was sleeping inside a Walmart parking lot in my vehicle. You weren't there when I was staying at houses and Airbnbs. You weren't there when I didn't know like where I was going to make it, but God kept coming through. See, everybody see what God is doing through your life, but they have no idea what it took for you to get to that place. But it calls for the oil. And you got to go through that beating process. And there are people that don't even like you. But have no idea the hell that you went through to get to that place and some of the stuff you still going through. Don't even know what you went through to get to that place. Don't even realize it. But it costs. And some of us still paying the cost for the oil. So I want to tell you, you don't have to be jealous of people. You don't have to try to come against somebody because of the favor that's on their life. You don't have to try to close doors on people, lie on them, make up stuff about them. That's jealousy. It's jealousy. We don't want to walk in jealousy. Because the Bible says, how do we get to make it into heaven? He said, you have to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, your mind, and your soul. And your neighbor as yourself. That's the only way. That's the, that's the, the greatest commandment of them all. So we can't love people. We get jealous hearted, trying to close doors on people, see favor on their life, trying to shut things up. God can't increase you. And there's a lot of sphere of comparison and competition within the kingdom. There's some people that, that won't invite you to be on their platforms. Why? Because they're jealous of what you carry. Oh, yes. 
You'd be surprised how many people are jealous of you. And all you're doing is just walking in the grace that God has given you. You ain't even trying to compete. You're just doing what you do because you love God. And there are people that are trying to come against you and don't like you because of the way that God is using you. But I declare that they're not going to stop what God has for you. That they're not going to block us from fulfilling purpose. Because we're anointed for this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're anointed for this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of you all, you know, so, and I want to say this. If you're in gangs, right, and you're robbing and stealing and killing, do you know that you curse your own life? Anytime you take money from somebody, you steal somebody's sacrifice, you literally curse yourself in the spirit realm. Miss Alea, please name your seat, sweetheart. I don't know if you sent that to be funny or you're trying to be a distraction, but that's the correct one. I just refunded you back what you sent. Yeah, name your seed. We don't send money without naming it. So I just refunded you back what you sent. Your name starts with an A. I'm, I'm, I'm refunding it now. But look, you. so when you go take somebody else's money, you curse your own life. And here it is, the devil got you thinking, let's go get the bag. Let's go get this fast money. You thinking you're going to rob and steal and take from innocent people and it's going to work. Do you know you curse your own life? So help your health start to decline. Unnecessary bills start popping up. So all that money you went and stole, it goes through your hand just as fast as you got it. Look at the story of Michael. Michael went and stole some money and cursed his life. And here it is, the devil playing with your thoughts. Let's go get the bag. Let's go steal. Let's go rob. Let's go get this thing. And all the while, you send yourself up for failure. And, and, and get this, not only is the person cursed that went and robbed the person, but even those that spend the cursed money is under curse because you knew the money was stolen. Because you knew the money was stolen. And you're stealing, you're, you're spending somebody else's sacrifice because the Bible says that God gives seed to the sower. So God gives us seed because there's some things that we got to sow our way out of. There's some things that won't break until we put a demand in the spirit realm. It's real. How do you think witchcraft starts? People sacrifice to cause you to be hostage in the spirit realm. People sacrifice to cause you to be stuck. It's real. Uh, Miss D, name your seed. God give me financial abundance, all right? You can put God give me financial abundance in Jesus' name. All right, so be specific with your seed, Miss D. I just refunded it back to you, sweetheart. Name your seed, God give me financial abundance. You're speaking directly to God because if you just put financial abundance, that can mean you could be sowing to attack that no financial abundance comes here. So when you go, when you're sowing, name it, God give me financial abundance. All right, sweetheart. So name it, God give me financial abundance. And please don't get offended. All right, just be specific with your seed. Amen. Please name it. Amen. Hallelujah. God give me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Financial abundance. Yeah. Speaking as if you're speaking directly to God. Amen. In Jesus' name. All right. So you name it. Thank you, Lord. God give me financial abundance. All right, sweetheart. I just refunded back to you. Please don't get offended. All right. Every seat has an assignment. Like the lady last night sent $250. I sent her back her money and she got offended. Why? Because it was a demonic dart. She probably was so and so that I wouldn't go live this morning. Probably with so-and-so that I'd be tired and slothful and won't be able to get up and minister the word. That's probably what that $250 seed was for that I sent back last night. Because if it offended her to correct it, that means it was on assignment. And she didn't want to reveal the assignment of the seed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Amen. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. I bind every distraction. Your name starts with an A. And listen, can you just do me a favor, sweetheart? Capitalize the L when you talk because anytime we're speaking to God, we put a capital letter, right? Because we know that there's idols. So we capitalize the G in God. If you're speaking, Lord, capitalize the L as a sign of respect. That way I know you're not talking to idols, all right? Amen. So because you already got a private page on Cash App with no picture and stuff. So please capitalize the L in Lord. So it, here's what I'm saying. So if you're involved in games and the devil tells you, let's go get the money. Let's go rob. Let's go steal. You curse your own life in the spirit realm by robbing somebody. You curse your own life by taking somebody else's sacrifice. It's real. You don't have to rob. You don't have to steal. You don't have to kill. Look what happened with Cain and Abel, the two brothers. They both went to God to do what? Sacrifice. They go that word again that people don't like and that they feel like God don't need. 
Cain and Abel both went to God to sacrifice. Help me, Holy Ghost. Cain just do anything at God, like many of us do. We'll sacrifice to drive a nice vehicle. We'll sacrifice to live in luxury in a beautiful home. We'll sacrifice to have the most expensive jewelry, to have diamonds, to have golds in our mouth, to be loaded with the best of the best. But when it comes to God, I ain't got to get nothing to God. God don't need nothing for me. It ain't about the money. It's spiritual. You shift things in the spirit when you're giving to God. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. We receive your seed. God, give me financial abundance in Jesus' name. And I declare financial increase that God will multiply your seed for sowing. I call for the overflow to your life, woman of God. Watch God do it in Jesus' name. Also, thank you to, um, thank you, Lord, the um, woman of God you sent through PayPal. You said, um, you ain't sauce with an S. You said, God, give me financial abundance. I decree and I declare financial increase in your life. I bind the spirit of lack. And I pray that God multiply your seed for sowing. In Jesus' name. So anyhow, right, Stephanie, you want to know what the money is for? Go look in the page, sweetheart. You'll see what we do. We bless people all over the world. We feed the homeless. We help people. We done bought cars. We do a lot of stuff. In fact, I don't even get paid for ministry, Stephanie. So go look at the page. I would have blocked you, but I muted you so you can go look. If you want to know what, where the money go, look on the profile. You'll see what we do every day. We bless people, all right? Amen. I'm not even on a salary. I give. Sometimes when I'm live, I be done gave everything that came in, and y'all don't even know it. More than what be done came in. Because I add minds on to it when I be sowing it to some of these people sometimes during the live, and y'all don't even be knowing it. Amen. He said, legit, I ain't work it ain't worth it. He said he was an ex-game member. Thank you for sharing your testimony, Michael. It's real. You stealing and robbing, you thinking you're going to get away with it. But the joke be on you, because you taking somebody else's sacrifice. You curse your own life in the spirit. So Cain and Abel both went to God to sacrifice. Cain just do anything that God, like many of us do. We will give God anything. You hear me? But we'll argue. You know, we'll, we'll argue. Why I got to give that to God? But we'll spend $1,000 on a t-shirt. You hear me? We will spend $3,000 on an outfit, pants and shirt from Saks Fifth. But fight about giving God $100 when he, spend, when he chooses where we spend eternity. The God that's putting breath in our body. The God that's giving us eyes to see. We will give him the bare minimum, less than what we spend on a happy meal. Less than what we spend on a happy meal. It's real. Amen. We'll give him less than what we spent on a happy meal. But yet we asking him to give us overflow. How can God give you what he can't trust you with? To whom much is given, the Bible say, much is required. So Cain just threw anything at God. But Abel gave God his best. He gave him something that meant something to him. And because of that, God blessed Abel. He blessed him. But here come Cain. Cain got jealous, got jealous of his brother and went and killed his brother. Just like many of us do, getting jealous of the way that God is using somebody so we go behind their back and talk bad about them when that person ain't did nothing wrong to you. I think that they just doing this to be seen. I think they just doing this. They want to use you to get famous. Da, 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 da. Baby, if you see God using us to give away $1,000, then I will show you we don't need nobody platform to be a blessing. You can see God using us, blessing people thousand dollars, buying people a car. Why would we need anybody else's platform to do anything? When God is showing you that his hands are on this ministry. People ain't, I'm telling you, some people ain't got the common sense God gave a billy go, as the old folks would say. You think we need somebody else's platform to do greater when God is already doing it through us? Jealousy. People that are talk about, talk bad about you. Amen. Talk bad about you. Amen. So here it is, right? Um, can you put spaces in between your words, please, sweetheart? I just refunded you back your seed on cash out. Please put spaces. You hear me? So Cain went and killed his brother and thought that nobody would know. So God came and he said, Cain, where's your brother? Cain's like, what do you mean, where's my brother? He said his blood is crying out from the ground. He's like, I can hear your brother's blood crying from the ground. Where is your brother? He's like, am I my brother's keeper? Like, what do you mean? What, like, what, what do you mean? His blood is crying out from the ground. So when you go taking innocent people's life, 
Do you know that that person's blood literally cries out from the ground? And the Bible says, vengeance is mine. Good morning, Corey Prather. The Bible says, vengeance is mine. You hear me? Literally letting us know God comes back and fight for that individual that can defend themselves. So come out of the gangs. Come out of the cliques. Come out of the occults. Stop it while you got a chance. You don't have to rob nobody and be jealous hearted because of the favor that's on their life, bro. Because when you try to come against a man or woman of God that God is using, you're literally telling God, I'm going to stop you, God. And before God allow you to stop his will in your earth, he will stop you. Remember a guy that I was connected to years ago. And this gentleman used to always try to come against me. Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with an A. I bind the spirit of lack from up your life. God, even as she say, hear me, Lord, I need you more than ever. Father, I ask that you deliver her. God, set her free from anything that's not of you. And help her to be a good steward over what you entrust her with. In Jesus' name. So I was connected to this gentleman. And this guy was so jealous of me, y'all. Always talking bad behind my back. But here I am trying to be a good friend. Don't want to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, treat you the way that you're doing me. But he would make up lies about me. Because he didn't like the favor that, that's on my life. Jealous hearted. Can I tell you something? I never went back to try to go back and forth with him. Why are you jealous? None, none of that. But I remember getting out of church. And as I was getting out of church, I went to the mall. Now I'm in the mall with some brothers in Christ. Got on my suit. We dressed up. I see this guy in a hover round chair. And this guy couldn't move his legs or nothing. Pushing the hover round chair. Pushing the button. And he, you know, and I look. And I said his name that I knew him by his nickname. And he looked up at me like, that's you? And said my name. I was like, yeah. But my heart was so grieved. This guy was in a wheelchair. Now he's bedridden, can't do nothing for himself. Get this. Let me show y'all. Look. Like, oh, I can't, now I can't say that part. But let me tell y'all. So he was in a hover round chair. Do you know that if you come against a man or woman of God that God is using, God will make it where you have, you can't even move your own self to do anything. He'll say, okay, you want to fight against my servant's purpose? You want to stop him from doing what I call him to do in the earth? Let me sit you down. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. This guy always has something negative to say about me and ain't do nothing wrong with him. Just jealous. But now can't do nothing for himself. And I want to say this to some of you. Don't be surprised when God starts removing people out of your way. Because some of these people that God is removing, it's because their spirits are stubborn and they keep fighting against your purpose. So there are some people that God has to literally remove so that you can fulfill purpose. Because they're so stubborn hearted, jealous hearted. That they're in covenant with demons and they keep fighting against your purpose. And because they won't stop, God's going to remove them so that you can fulfill purpose. Gatekeepers. Don't be surprised when some of the gatekeepers fall dead. Don't be surprised when some of the gatekeepers fall ill. Well, now they can't no longer do what they used to do because they was the ones that was keeping you from going through certain gates and you didn't know it. And get this. It's some of the same people that's been smiling in your face saying, oh, I'm so happy for you. I just love what God is doing in your life. But God's going to get him out of the way. This guy always talked bad about me. Calling me names and stuff. Jealous. But yet I thought he was my friend. We would hang together, go to the club together when I was out in the world. But he was jealous of me. Jealous. And now I saw him, he was in a hover round thing when the chairs where he couldn't even move his legs or nothing. But now I hear that he's bedridden, he can't do nothing. That now that there's nurses that come take care of him and bathe him and stuff. It's real. If you're a gatekeeper, if you're somebody that's jealous of somebody's purpose and you keep trying to close doors on anointed people, lying on them, making up stuff, you about to stop. This is a warning to you. I'm warning you. Stop fighting against God because you're not fighting against the person. You're literally fighting against God himself. You're telling God, I'm going to stop souls from getting saved. You're telling God, I'm going to stop people from getting to know you. 
Come out of your gangs. Come out of your cults. Look at Judas. The devil told G um, Judas to betray Jesus. Why in the world would you betray somebody that you can get anything out of? Somebody that would give you anything you want, bro. You're going to be jealous of them? Somebody that's there for you. You can talk to a listener here and you're going to get jealous and betray them for 30 pieces of shekels. He betrayed Jesus for a little money. Be careful of those that will try to come against you because of money. Be careful of those that will change on you because of a little money that's coming in. No, God, send me friends that ain't going to allow money to come in between our relationship. Send me friends that even when I ain't around, they got my back. Send me friends that even when I'm not on the scene, that they say, listen, bro, we ain't going to talk about my brother. Now, I don't know what y'all got going on, but in fact, let me call him and let me get y'all to squash this now. Hey, bro, I don't like this, what he's saying about you. And, you know, so I just want to nip this in the bud right now, bro. This guy over here saying that you're doing this for clout. You're doing this for um, because you want to be seen. And, and uh, so, bro, I just want to nip this in the bud right now, bro. Now, tell him what you said, because we need to squash it. The Bible said you got out with your brother. Go before and make it right, because I can't sit here and let you talk about my friend, bro. He's been nothing but good to me. But she's been nothing but good to me. So it would be very fake and phony of me to sit here and listen to you talk bad about them when this person has been nothing but good to me. And I know them to be a friend. So here, bro, what, here, tell them what you were saying. I bet that person never talk about him again. They mouth will hit the flow. Like, why you did that? Because you just said something about him. So we need to make sure that this is true now. Judas went and betrayed Jesus. That's why I don't have friends that hang around me. I don't have people that I talk to and hang with like that on the regular. Because people can be so wishy-washy. One minute they celebrate you. The next, they see great things happen for you and you. They act phony. They stop talking to you. Stop calling. Stop messaging you. Like they just get all ghosts. Because they can't take the favor that God placed on your life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So anyhow, um, thank you, Lord. So um, I didn't know how to work. It said increase finance. God, please increase my finance. Thank you. I don't know what you're talking about, sweetheart, because if you sold last night and you put that, I would have sent it back. I mean, if you said God increased my finance, we would have kept it. But yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Amen. I'm going to be doing that to be funny. But anyhow, so if you're involved in gangs and cliques, come out of that stuff. Because hell is real. And the devil is not your friend. You don't have to be jealous of nobody. Trying to close doors on nobody. Amen? You don't. Gonna betray Jesus. And guess what happened after he betrayed Jesus? Get this. He betrayed Jesus. And right after he betrayed him, the same demons that he betrayed him, amen, they came back and told him to take his life. Told him to take his life. Those same demons. He didn't even get to enjoy the money that he had just betrayed Jesus for. Didn't even get to enjoy the money. Didn't even get to enjoy it. Is it worth it? You betraying somebody, stealing from somebody, robbing somebody, only for you to be destroyed in it? Remember I saw a video online. These guys had just robbed somebody. Leaving the scene real fast in the car. Big old semi tractor trailer truck coming. Boom! Smashing the vehicle. Instantly they die. Guess what they wake up to? Immediate torment by demons. But yet the person who they stole and robbed from get all their stuff back, but they wake up to immediate torment by demons. Is it worth it? You stealing something, you chasing the bag, only for you not to be able to even enjoy the money that you went and stole and got. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Amen? It's not worth it. Hallelujah. It's not worth it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So come out of the games while you have a chance. You hear me? Hallelujah. Come out of it while you have a chance. Amen. And make Jesus your Lord and Savior. All right? Don't do it. Don't allow the enemy to cause you to be jealous of somebody that ain't do nothing wrong to you. The same thing God does for one, he'll do it for all. He say he's no respectable person. 
Do you know that favor ain't just meant for one person? If I'm connected to somebody that God is favoring, I'm next in line. So why I got to be jealous of somebody because God is opening doors for them? Why? Good morning, Black Love on Bible page. Love you, my sister. Why I got to be jealous because God is increasing somebody, enlarging their territory? That means I'm next in line because I'm connected to the blessing. You hear me? It's real. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Renounce and denounce those covenants that you made with the enemy to be a tool for him. All right? So if you have not accepted Jesus, do it now because he's soon to come. And if you have did it years ago, still do it again. He said, I was a gang leader for 15 years. Now I'm a pastor. Amen. Congratulations, my brother, Mr. Jerome. That's right, my brother. This is what it's all about. Amen. We don't want to be like Michael. You still in somebody else's sacrifice and end up cursing your own life. It's real. Amen. And Father, I thank you for the tithe and offering that just came from the woman of God online. See, people be telling me you can't put that online, but this lady, she put right online, tithe and offering by giving online. And Father, I just thank you for her obedience, even as she just gave through the website. I decree and I declare Malachi chapter three and open heaven over her life. Your name starts with an F. And I ask right now, Father, that you will continue to rebuke the devour for her namesake. God, do it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Send me. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of, um, of um, salvation. Amen. Remember, if you did it as a kid, there's no harm in doing it again. At least you know who you belong to. All right? We want to know who we belong to. Amen. Blessings to you as well, J Street. Amen. So everybody repeat after me. Amen. And let me say this, because a lot of times we feel like just because our grandmother is in church or our mother or dad is a pastor, we feel like we immediately say, that's not true. That's not true. Amen. How do you know that we're saved? He said, you have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Then you shall be saved. Just because we go to church don't mean we're saved. Amen. Just because we shout, we dance, we speak in tongues does not mean we're saved. All right. So we're going to go through the prayer of salvation this morning. All right. Repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for waiting on me. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for not casting me away from your presence. But you took the time to wait on me. And God, I ask right now, in the name of Jesus. God, first of all, I, I just want to say thank you. And now your word says in Romans 10, verse 9, that if I will confess the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart, that you raise them from the dead, I shall be saved. Father, today, April 9th, 2024, I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that you raise them from the, from the dead. Therefore, everything that I've done in my past, it no longer exists anymore because I'm a new creature. Now, Father, your word says that I shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon me. So God, I ask that you fill me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Father, give me the power to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick, to open the blinded eyes, to see the lame walk, to see the dumb talk. God, I recognize that your return is so near. So I ask God that you will use me in a mighty way to snatch as many souls out of darkness into your marvelous light. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Everybody say amen. And everybody say amen. To the woman of God, your name starts with a C. I just refunded you back your seed. Um, I hope you're not doing that to be a distraction, but we name our seeds. All right? I know you put on there, you say, trust in God. What are you trusting God for? Every seed has an assignment. And if you're just sending a seed, naming it, trusting God, I don't know what it is. You could be trusting God that things don't happen good for this ministry. You could be trusting God that souls don't get saved. You sent it as I was doing a salvation prayer. So I don't know if you knew I was catching or not. So I pray that you're not being a distraction. 
I'll refund you back your seat. Name it what you believe in God to do. Trust in God for increase. God, give me direction. God, give me open doors. Amen. So I just refunded you back your seat. And I'm, you say direction and guidance. So this is what you name your seat. God, give me direction. Amen. Because you could be someone to attack my direction. You could be someone so that I don't fulfill purpose. Because just because you're naming a seat one word don't mean that you, it means something good. So name the seat. I just refunded you back here. Name the seat. God, give me clarity. God, give me direction. God, lead me. God, guide me. God, help me to fulfill purpose. Name the seat. God, direct me. Amen. You name it what you believe in God to do. But we don't just name our seat one, one word. All right? Direction and God. Name it. God, direct me and guide me. All right? Be specific in your seat. Because just direction and guidance, you could be sowing against my direction and guidance. It's real. People think it's a game, but sowing shifts things immediately in the spirit realm. Amen. So what we're going to do now, amen, um, put, name it God direct me. I just literally told you how to name it. Name it God direct me and God me. All right. You, yeah. So name it God direct me and God me. Amen. Amen. So amen. Make sure you name it. God direct me and God me. You're being specific. That way you're not sowing to come against my direction. God direct me. God guide me. Amen. Hallelujah. Be specific. Every seat has an assignment. Amen. Those of you that are watching this morning, um, what we're going to do also, um, before we congratulate those who just um, accepted Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, we're going to go through the prayer of protection. Now, let me say this. This is something that we should do every day. Every day you want to make sure that you cover. The Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's a spiritual battle, wickedness in our places. So there's things that we can't see that are happening in the spirit realm. Amen. Amen. So we want to make sure that we're covered spiritually. And I want to tell you something. I was connected to a gentleman in ministry he did not like for me to put on my armor. Did not like for me. Amen. Pastor, someone using your name. Yo, I know about the fake pages. Just block a woman of God. The moment that they inbox you, y'all know it ain't me. If they inbox you asking for money, I got a false prophecy block of Mr. Nilton. It ain't me, my brother. Amen. So if they inbox you with saying something, block them immediately. Because I don't inbox nobody saying give to an organization or charity. Amen. I don't did, thank you for blocking them. Amen. He said, yeah, I did block them right away. Yeah, it ain't me. Thank you, brother. Amen. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go through the prayer of protection. This is something you want to do every day. Sometimes throughout the day, make sure that you got on your armor. Amen. Because it's a spiritual battle, wickedness in our place. And we can't see some of the evil in this thing. That's why we have to ask God to give us eyes to see, ears to hear. Amen. So that we can hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. That we can see and know what's happening around us. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of protection. And everybody, I want you to repeat after me this morning. Heavenly Father. I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for access in your presence. I thank you for your protection. Now, Father, it is written in Ephesians 6, verse 11, to put on the whole armor of God that I will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I place on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. I gird my loins with the belt of truth. I shod my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I take up the shield of faith that I will be able to quench every fiery dart of the enemy in the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Therefore, I am fully armored and no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me shall be condemned. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Now those of you that are watching this morning, amen, um, this is what we're going to do. The Bible say that we're one body, I mean with many members and it talks about how, you know, the angels in heaven are rejoicing right now because of the soul that just gave their life to Christ. So what we're going to do right now, every believer, those of you that are on here, let's hit the hearts. Let's show some love to those who just accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Let's, um, 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're going to, um, we're going to, let's hit the hearts. Let's show some love to our brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Those that have accepted Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, every believer that's on here. Amen. Let's show some love. Thank you, TikTok, for 37.5 thousand hearts. God bless you. Amen. Let's show some love to those who just accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. This is what it's all about, y'all. Amen. We're one body with many members, so we're in this thing together. Amen. So we want to make sure, let's make our brothers and sisters in Christ feel welcome. And I want to say this to those of you that are watching, congratulations. Welcome to the family. Welcome to eternal life. Amen. That means if the Lord was to crack the sky today, and if he was to ask you, why should I let you into heaven? Do you know what your response should be? Because I've accepted you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Not because I'm perfect. Not because I get it right. Not because I dot every I and cross every T. But your response should be because I've accepted you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. And I want to say this to those of you that are watching this morning. Jesus Christ is the only way. Amen. The Bible said there's no other way by which men shall be saved but through Christ. Amen. So he's the only way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So um, what we're going to do now. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So one of the things I do whenever I go live, I always pick a different person. Y'all, I love Cologne. Pray my strength. Amen. I'm like, I can't smell my cologne no more. Amen. But I love cologne, y'all. So one of the things we're going to do this morning, um, you know, uh, every time I go live, I believe in sowing too. So I told God, I said, God, I want to be different from every other pastor. I want to sow too. I want to sow too. So whenever we go live, not only do I sow in private, I want to make sure that I sow publicly so that they can see that I'm not teaching them something that I don't do myself. So I always pick somebody to sow into during the live. Amen. Um, thank you, Lord. Somebody named Marquilla Pinkston just inboxed me on PayPal talking about I would like a refund. Let me tell y'all how the devil is. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I don't know why I didn't follow my first mind when she sent me yesterday. Marquilla sent $1 asking for a refund. And I'm going to give it to you right now, sweetheart. And see if I could block you too on, um, on um, PayPal. Marquilla Pinkton. Sent one dollar, talking about she want a refund. Well, I'm telling y'all, the devil is mad because of what God doing. You sent five dollars yesterday and just inboxed me on PayPal, talking about you want a refund. And guess that this is what I'm telling y'all, boy. The devil is something, and I just refunded you back your dollar, Miss Marquilla Pinkston. I just refunded you back your dollar. Now let me go back to yesterday, Amen. So, because so, this is what they do, they'll try to send through PayPal because they want to try to report it as scam. Let me tell y'all, there's some wicked people in this world. That's why they'll say, oh, I don't have cash out. I'd rather give through PayPal so that they can try to report it as if, you know, oh, I accidentally sent and that was the wrong person. They're taking my money. Lying. This is why I told y'all when we give to the mail, this is why we don't accept checks. And I said, when you're so, when you give it to the mail, put cash. Because there are some wicked people in this world. Wicked. Now let me give her back her $5 from yesterday. $4.85 from yesterday. So here now, Marquilla Pinkston. You're getting your money back right now, sweetheart. This is why when we get to the mail, I say, please, no checks, no money. Order. We just sent you your $5 from yesterday too. Amen. Now let me see I can block you on PayPal. Amen. So anyhow, right? Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, so this is why... Um, Look, and she the main one, she messaged me yesterday. Is this you? And I said, yes, this is me yesterday. In a $5 seed, she sends God $5 to me. Is this you? And I said, yes, this is me. And now today she come back after sending a dollar. She told me I would like a refund. Like she gave God a whole lot of money. And let me tell y'all, do you know the Bible says it's better not to make a vow than to make one and break one? So when you give to God and you take that what you gave to God, you bring a curse on your life. You made a vow and broke it, asking for it back and just curse your own life. So I pray that God has mercy on you, Miss Marquilla. Whoever you are, sweetheart, I pray that God has mercy on you because you don't even know the damage, the hell that you just set yourself up for. It's better not to make a vow than to make one and to break one. So my heart goes out to you, sweetheart. God have mercy on your soul. You don't even know what you just open up for yourself by doing that to God. You're going to give to the Lord and say, oh, I'm taking it back. I want back what I gave to God. Like an Indian giver. And just set yourself up for something. So I pray that God has mercy on your soul. The mercy of God. 
Amen. But I sent you back your money, baby. All right. You just got a refund. She said, uh, this one was, she said, this one was $145, $145. Let me see where we can find where she sent $145. Thank you, Lord. I don't see nothing from Marquilla that says $145. And she got mad because I removed her from the live video on Instagram. Let me tell you why I removed her. Because she going to tell me, she put Matthew chapter um, 6, verse 3 and 4. How you going to sow into somebody and then come against them? Matthew 6, 3 and 4. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which see it in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Try to tell me we don't have to let people see what we're doing. So why you even gave here if you don't believe in the ministry? This is why they give through, let me tell you what they'll try to do. They give through other forms and methods because they'll say, oh, I don't have cash out. I don't have this because they want to try to report where they did so. Let me report the account. Let me tell y'all, the devil is wicked. He's wicked. And he tries to find ways to come against what God is doing. So let me get through PayPal so I can report the PayPal account. Why do you think we name our seeds? Because that way, guess what? Not only does sowing cause this thing to shift in the spirit realm, even when you try to report the payment, they got, documented, they got documentation that you sold purposely to that cash out. Because right there, the seed was named. So when you say, oh, I didn't mean to give that to Zell. I didn't mean to give that. I didn't mean to sow there. There's documented proof. Everybody named their seed that day. So you knew what you was giving. You just gave it. Now you're trying to take it back because you got offended. So now you're walking in the spirit of fits and you need God to heal you. She got mad because she posted a stripper, a stripper. And you lucky, baby, I didn't block you. But now that we know that you're not for us and you're against us, let me go ahead and block you on Instagram. Because what I did is I removed your comment and removed you from the video. So now you're blocked on Instagram. Let me help you. Because I didn't block you. But now that I know that you're against us, you're now blocked on Instagram. Because I know you're watching on a different platform. Amen. And when I find out what other platform you're on, we're going to block you there. But I look and I don't see um, a 145 seat that you gave through PayPal. Unless you gave it through another form um, to be a distraction. Because let me tell you how sneaky they are. Some of them be like, I don't have PayPal. I'm going to get to the website so they can say, like, I need credit card proof that I gave. So you're trying to keep tabs on what you give to God because their motives and their intentions aren't right because they want to try to go back and report. But baby, you find a losing battle because there's documented proof. You name, we name our seats here because I refunded that just as fast as it came in. That's why they'll try to send ways that you can't refund it. The devil hates what God is doing, y'all. Sowing shifts things immediately. 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 But I'm looking to see where she gave 145 anywhere through PayPal. Because I want to make sure that I send that back to I don't want nothing from nobody that don't believe in what God is doing here. Baby, you could get that back and you keep your curse. Because you don't even realize the attack that you just brought on your own life. Amen. So let me see if you gave anywhere. Amen. Let me show history on PayPal. You never gave 145 on PayPal, which means, like I just said, they will give through different forms of payment, um, different forms so that they can try to block each account and try to report it. Baby, there are wicked people in this world. That's why I say when we give to the mail, put the cash in the paper, write on the paper what it is. You see what she did? She never gave 145 through PayPal. So that means she gave it through a different platform because she wanted to try to report that one too as well. The devil hates what God is doing, y'all. Sowing shifts things immediately. This is her whole history of everything she gave through PayPal. Right there. The first time she gave was April 8th. $4.85 came. But she must have gave 145 through another platform because she wanted to try to come against that one. So what they'll do is they'll report payments and make it seem like they accidentally gave to the wrong place. Lying. But I'm so glad all the videos are recorded so we can play this back, Miss Marquilla Pinkston. You gave intentionally, but you walking in a spirit of offense because I muted you on, on Instagram because of the comment that you made. But the Bible says, let your light so shine that others will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So people need to see what God is doing through us because it brings glory to God. So I'm not going to stop doing it because you don't like the way that we do it. You hear me? She said, how, do, how she don't know what she sold? God wasn't blocking what the devil may have tried to set up. Amen. So she talking about she gave 145. She want that one back. 
So let me go look on, on through the website because I can refund back through the website. Let me tell y'all, people are wicked, y'all. They're wicked. And they know that the teaching that God has me doing is the truth. They know it. That's why they're like, how do I stop this guy? How do I stop him? He's teaching people stuff that's going to cause curses to be destroyed. He's teaching them stuff that's going to bring restoration to their marriages. That's going to cause their businesses to increase. How do I stop him? I'm looking through the website, Ms. Marquilla. I don't know where you're at, but you never gave through the website. So that means you must have gave it through Zell or another way. Amen? Please let me know the way that you give so I can refund it back to you right now, sweetheart. Because I'm not money hungry. Can I tell you, I don't, I don't have to take money from nobody. The word is it works by itself. So please, because I saw you sit through PayPal again. Before I block you on PayPal, tell me where you sent the money at so that I can see to it that it gets refunded. Unless you gave through Zelle because you want to try to report the Zelle. Man, it's wicked people in this world, y'all. If what God is a youth is allowing me to teach wasn't the truth, why is it making rough? Why is it ruffling the devil's feathers? Why is it making them so uncomfortable? Because it's true. Sowing shifts things in the spirit ring. And the devil is furious. This guy knows too much. How does he know all this? Because I was bound by witchcraft. I know what it's like to feel like snakes in your stomach. I know what it's like to feel like a snake wrapped around your neck. And for those people that be like, oh, well, you can't be had a Holy Ghost and be bound by witchcraft. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I was going to a church. An apostolic church. And demonic spirits would manifest. I remember times I would lay down to go to sleep. And I would hear this heavy breathing. And I knew it wasn't coming from me. It was a spirit that was inside of me. It was like, like a demon. Times that I didn't even want to go down and go lay down and sleep. Because I'm like, what is this? I can hear the demonic. The, the spirit. I couldn't even sing a note. Remember times I was so hoarse. Going to church, couldn't sing nothing. Because people was feeding me witchcraft. Didn't want me to be on the praise and worship team. Look, they go on fake page. Just came in now. Cornelius Edwards, fake page. Just came in. Cornelius underscore Edwards prayers. A fake page just came in on Instagram. So I blocked their page. I blocked on Instagram. Now she coming in with a fake page of me. Let me tell y'all, it be the main ones right on here watching the live that got the fake pages of me. The main ones. Cornelius underscore Edwards on, um, on, on TikTok. I mean on Instagram. Y'all see that? Cornelius underscore Edwards that just came in. Cornelius underscore C-O-R-N-E-L-I-U-S underscore underscore prayers on Instagram just came in. That ain't me. Amen. That is not me. Look at this. Foolishness. Foolishness. Do you see this? Fake page of me. After this, after she gets called out, a fake page is coming in to me on, on Instagram. But now we're going to block you. Let me report the page and block you. Report Thank you, Lord. Amen. They are pretending to be someone else. Me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Block Cornelius underscore Edwards prayers. I don't have no page Cornelius underscore prayers. I don't have a page on Facebook that say Pastor Cornelius prayers. I don't have none of that. I don't have no group. Pastor Cornelius, this block all of those. We only got the Heaven's Impact group on Facebook and we got the Heaven's Impact page. But any page that say Pastor Cornelius on Facebook, block them. That's not me. Amen. Those are not me. These witches and warlocks and monitoring spirits are mad because of what God is allowing me to teach. We're living in the end times. The Lord return is so near. So he's making sure that we know everything. No longer will we pass for lack of knowledge. You hear me? No longer. Amen. Hallelujah. No longer will we pass for lack of knowledge. Bible says the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. He's revealing secrets in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. We won't be bound by witchcraft any longer. We won't be going through church, going to church, just going through the motions. But now we know better, we're going to do better. Amen. Sowing shifts things immediately. Immediately. Your seed can do with something you pray and labor for for months. Your seed can make it happen instantly. This is why psychics don't like me. Those of you that are going to psychics, 
They're going to tell you not to like me. They're going to tell you not to watch me. Y'all better stop going to these psychics and warlocks. You hear me? She said, you just said God is removing people from out of your life because they're finding it's your purpose. I wrote it down because it was good to me. God allowed us to see a live demonstration. Wow. Yes, just that fast. It's real. The devil is mad because of this teaching. Everything in life is about sacrifice. You got to give. Good morning, Cordell Booker. You got to give in order to receive. I remember I was connected to a gentleman years ago. And I didn't know this guy was going to see psychics. I didn't know that he was paying money to go see people for readings. All I know is that he got distant from me. Stopped talking to me. Didn't hear from him. Same thing happened with a very well-known person online right now that go to psychics. At first, me and her was cool. Hey, Cadiz, hey. And she would be talking to me cool and be excited, messaging me. But she go see psychics. She even had a psychic on her uh, platform before. I ain't going to even say her name. But she started acting different. Psychics are going to tell you not to talk to me. This guy knows too much. What he's teaching you is going to stop curses. Because when you take money to a witch or warlock, you block your own self in the spirit. They say Marquilla Pinkston requested $145 on PayPal. Let me see who this lady is that's requesting $145 on PayPal. So, let me see this. Miss Marquilla, evidently you sent it to my personal page. So when I get off the live, I will make sure I refund you back $145 because you shouldn't have sent it to my personal page no way. So I'm going to make sure I send you back your $145 because it say you're requesting it on PayPal. So baby, you ain't even got a word. Can I tell you something? You could be trying to take back $145 and God could send somebody to send $145,000. That's the kind of God we serve. I'm going to refund you back your money because it just popped up on my screen that you requested $145 on PayPal. So about when I go to PayPal, if I see that you sent $145, so interesting how you send $6 to the ministry cash out, but you sent $145 to my personal cash out. To make it seem like you giving money to me personally to try to report me, but only sent $6 to the ministry cash out. $4.85 one day and then a dollar a day. These people are wicked, y'all. But sent $145 to my personal one so that she can try to report it as if I'm scamming or doing something crazy. I'm telling y'all, this is why we said, know them that labor among you. You see how fast I just said God is exposing the enemy and he just did it just that fast. So sweetheart, I'm going to make sure that when we get off of this live, you're going to get your $145 back if you send it to my personal cash out. So I'm going to log in when I get out and I'm going to send you back your $145 because can I tell you something, Miss Marquilla? I don't do what I do for money. I don't do what I do for money. God has me teaching this so that captives can be set free. God has me teaching this so that witchcraft curses be destroyed. And you probably a witch. That's why you're doing it. You're probably a witch or a warlock, Miss Marquilla Pinkson. That's why you're doing it. That's why you're causing this distraction or trying to. But what your distraction is doing is causing what the enemy meant for evil to be for good. So now you're showing us that what we're doing is right. It works. And there are people that will take big money to block you in the spirit realm. I'm talking about they get thousands while we find about giving God a hundred. These people get thousands because they want to see you lose your business. Thousands because they want to see you not excel. They sacrifice big. But no longer will we perish for lack of knowledge. Let me tell you something about, thank you, woman of God. We receive your tithe. Your name starts with a K. And I declare open heaven over your life that God will continue to rebuke the divine for your name's sake. I speak increase abundance favor because of your obedience and tithing into this or I declare that God is about to open up even greater doors for you because of your obedience. God, do it for this woman of God now. And Jesus saying, thank you, Miss Loyal, um, but your name starts with a K so you know I'm talking to. It's real. The enemy is upset right now, but captives are being set free. Being set free and the devil don't like it. Don't like it. Amen. But one of the things I do every time I go live, I pick a different person to sow into. 
So today, we're naming our seed. We came, if you're late, we, we, we get, we're given a $100 sacrificial seed and we're naming our seed today. I am anointed for this. And we're declaring that the enemy is not going to stop us. That God is enabling us, strengthening us to fulfill purpose. We came from the story of Joseph in Genesis about how Joseph's brothers tried to come against him because of his dream. And we're declaring that nobody's going to stop our elevation. Nobody's going to stop what God is about to do in our life because why? We're anointed for this. So today we gave a sacrificial seed of $100 and we're naming our seed, I am anointed for this. Amen. So I'm going to give my seed. And this is why it's so good to participate and not just sit back and spectate. You know, a lot of times people come on the live, they just sit and watch what God is doing. They don't say nothing, just monitor. But there's a man of God that sent the seed. So I'm going to sow back into your ministry today, my brother. Amen. Because you sowed into this soil. I'm going to sow my seed back into your ministry, my brother. Amen. So I'm going to call you now. Amen. I saw when you sowed, declaring that you're anointed for this. So now God is going to give you back 10 times the seed that you just sowed. Amen. See that? This is why you shouldn't just watch, but participate. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. No, I know what I was going to say. When you take money to a witch, do you know that they bind you to them? So when you're giving money to a witch, a warlock, you're taking the money to block somebody, try to stop somebody else's harvest. Do you know that legally, in the spirit realm, that witch has legal right to bind you to them? This is why every time you get money, you go, oh, I need a reading. I need direction. I don't understand what's going on in my life. I need God to direct me. I don't understand. Because they bind you to them. Amen. Thank you so much, woman of God. I appreciate that. She sowed a seed. She said, God, continue to keep Pastor C and heaven's impact covered in Jesus' name. And Father, you said in your word, I will bless those who bless you. And I'll curse those who curse you. Father, because this woman of God is being a blessing, so in that you keep me covered, I pray that you give her what she didn't even ask for. God, increase her trucking business. I call forth overflow. I speak healing. I speak strength to her body now that you send forth her destiny helpers. Send forth labors in the vineyard. Expand her businesses, God. Do it now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Watch God do it for you, woman of God. Your name starts with a C, so you know I'm talking to. So here it is. When you take your money to a witch, they bind you to them. And here it is, the witch. You got to forget misery. Don't forget misery loves company. She said they can steal your destiny because you gave them legal rights in the spirit realm. That's true, Miss Nilton. And get this, Miss Nilton. Do you know that when you're giving money to witches, you're literally giving them your blood in the spirit realm? Money is considered as blood to witches and warlocks. So when you're giving them money, because remember back in the Bible days, they sacrificed the blood of the lambs, the blood of the rams. They gave blood. So in the spirit realm, money represents as blood to witches. So when you're giving them your money, you're giving them your blood. And then when you're trying to block somebody, they're binding you to them. This is why every time you get money, you're like, oh, I need a reading. I need direction. There's a public figure that in the beginning, she was real cool with me when I was on her platform. Man, gonna say her name. She was real cool with me at first. You know, oh, you know, because she knew I was on Sunday best. And she was so nice to me. How you responded back and everything. But she's connected to a psyche. And one thing about a psychic, they can tell when you're serious about God. And I guarantee you that that psychic told her not to talk to me because she stopped communicating with me. Stopped responding to my messages. And I'm talking about a public figure, very well known. Goes live and do our shows. Stop talking to me. And she used to message me, checking up on me. Hey, Pastor C. And every time I come in on the live, hey, Pastor C on the live, I ain't even going to say no name. But I guarantee you that psychic told her not to talk to me because they know who's serious about God. And they know when a person sit and got the Holy Ghost, are oh, they going to take a step because they know that the person going to reveal you need to disconnect from their psychic. This witchcraft, stop. You're in covenant with them when you're giving them your money. You're giving them your blood. So get this. I was connected to a gentleman years ago. And this guy, bro, the prayers have been working, family. What I've been sowing for is slowly turning around. We're getting answers and solutions. Thank you for your ministry, bro. Love you. Thank you for sharing your testimony, brother. I love you more, Tobias. I was connected to a guy. And I met him through my cousin because they was all going to college together. And so they was living on the college dorm campus. So me and this guy became cool. 
And one thing about me, even before I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I always had a love for God. So I was that friend that would make everybody go to church. If we go into the club, are oh, we going to give God his time? That was me. So we went out Saturday. I would be waking everybody up or trying to get everybody up to church. Uh-uh, oh, come on. Let's go to church. Y'all don't do that. Or get this. Sunday night, there was something that they would have in the area where I lived at called Bootylicious Night. Amen. So it was a night that they would have dance contests and stuff like that. Can I testify? Excuse me. Let me testify. That's right. God don't play by the children. Miss Carissa. So there was this thing called Bootylicious Night every Sunday night. And it was the African-American night where all the black folks come. They would have dance contests and stuff like that. Right? And get this. So, um, Lord, I almost forgot what I was just going to say. Oh, yeah. So, um, oh, Holy Spirit, what was I just going to say? Lord, I'm, I'm telling y'all a whole lot. Um, thank you, Lord. About sacrifice. I was going to say, oh, yeah. So there was this guy that I was connected to, right? And, and so here's, I met him through my cousin, a girl, you know, that was living in the dorm campus with him, right? So I met him. And so me and him, we became cool. We would go to clubs and everything, right? But I was the friend. That Sunday night, if we was going to the club, everybody better be in church on Sunday. Guess what I would tell them? I say, bro, now y'all know we're going to the club tonight. We need God to protect us. We need God to keep us safe. And get this. And I always had this reverence for God, even when I was out in the world. Because my grandmother raised me up. And the, the Bible says, train up a child in the way that they should go. When they get old, they will not depart from it. I don't care how much your children don't want to go to church. You make them go. This lady is emailing me, telling me I'm missing three refunds. This lady is, is sent on assignment. Miss Marquilla Pinkson is literally emailing me. The devil is mad. Baby, I done sent you all two of your refunds on PayPal. The proof is right here. Let me go to it so that we can have it on camera. Why are you trying to lie? Show the history of Marquilla Pinkston right there. You gave two seeds here. You see that? $4.85 and $1 and it just got refunded and that's what you gave to the ministry cash out so once I get out of here you're going to get your $145 sent back alright that's what you gave Miss Marquilla Pinkson there's no everything right there amen she emailing me talking about she's missing three seeds so that means you didn't give up hold on if I'm giving to God why we don't we don't a ministry is not a bank we don't give to God to take back what we gave. This is not a bank where we hold. You see us blessing people every day. How are you going to come take back something? So you want us to go to homeless and say, here, vomit up the food that we fed you yesterday because somebody want us to get them back their money. So we need you to vomit up the food that we fed you so that we can take it back to the store and we can refund them back their money. That's basically what you're saying because we bless people every day. But anyhow, the, the witch is mad because the devil being exposed. So anyhow, where the devil mad, but captives are being set free. So this guy, right, that I met through my cousin um, on campus, you know, he started hanging with us. We would go to the clubs, right? He would go see witches, and I didn't know that. I didn't know he was going to psychics. But all I know is he became distant with me. So I stopped hearing from him. No longer would he be like, you know, bro, let's, you going to the club? Or, hey, let's go out. Get this. See, I was the friend that made everybody go to church but because we was going to the club Sunday night. So Sunday morning, bro, let's go to church. We need to ask God to cover us. Can I tell y'all something? Every time I didn't go to the club with them, they got in a fight. And somebody say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for covering me. Thank you, Lord. So here is somebody reporting a video on, on YouTube. So I'm guessing that's where Marquilla Pinkson is. She's watching on YouTube because it went out. So she must be reporting the video. So those of you that are watching on, it's on YouTube, make sure that y'all hit the thumbs up because somebody's on here reporting it, trying to get it to stop. She's mad. But captives are being set free. So this guy became distant with me. Didn't hear from him, right? That's right. Thank you, Lord, for covering me. Amen. So I didn't hear from him for a while. Years went by. I ain't begging for nobody friendship. Years went by, I'm at the grocery store. So I'm in the store, right? And I see this guy. He's like, oh my gosh, bro. You look so different, man. He's like, man, you've been taking good care of yourself. Like, man, I was like, to God be the glory. He was like, um, he was like, you know what? And he was honest with me. He said, you know why I stopped talking to you? Because the psychic that I was, the, the lady, the psychic lady told me that there's people that's jealous of me and the psychic tried to turn him against me. Against me. Of course, anybody that deals with divination don't want you to be connected to somebody that got the Holy Ghost for real. 
Why do you think people that don't even know me don't like me? There's people in the industry I've never done anything to. There's people who I've been a blessing to that don't like me. There's people we've given thousands of dollars that do not like me, male and female. Because everybody can't handle the favor that's on your life. There's people trying to understand why you and not me. They try to understand why God using you. How do you get this? Why, how is he using you and not me? Just jealous. Don't even personally know you. But got all men of the evil to say about you. So this guy told me he stopped talking to me because of the psychic. Thank you, Cordell. Love you, my brother. Y'all better be careful of people that tell y'all not to talk to me. I guarantee you, if anybody tell you not to talk to me, they go and see witches and warlocks. I guarantee you, anybody that's telling you, don't listen to that man preach. You may not be able to listen. Most of them people, and I'm talking about even those in ministry that call themselves prophets, are taking $20,000 and giving lots of money to people over in Africa so that they can be able to tell you your address. Giving thought sacrifices. So that demons can tell them information about you. So that when they have these big large gatherings, they start prophesying to you. Telling you your address. How did you know my address is edifying me? Prophecy is supposed to help me. What is it that I need insight? I need direction. I need to know what am I supposed to do so that I can fulfill purpose. But you just telling me my last four digits of my social security or telling me my ID. My ID how am I, what am I getting out of that? No, help me get free. There are people that get thousands of dollars sacrificed so that demons can tell them information about you. And then they come back over here to the States and they hold large conferences and can tell you all kinds of stuff about you because they want to trickle your emotions to make you give up all your money. I see keys in the spirit. I see this God about to do this just lying, playing with your emotions because they already told you something that they know about you personally that the demon whispered to them in the service. But everything I need to know is in the word of God. Right here. Hey, bro, you are a blessing to so many. And God honors your willingness and sacrifice. Keep going. Thank you, Esther, um, my brother. To God be the going. Everything we need to know is right here in the word. The Bible says give and it shall be given. The Bible says what so do you sow that shall you reap. Amen. She said, I went to Africa. Buddha was scared. She said, it will curse 10 times to those who use it. Yeah. But the devil is mad. This guy knows too much. He's teaching the people how to put their seed on assignment. You can release a seed to destroy anything. This is why what we do, we name our seed, God destroy the curse. Can I tell y'all, before I even go live, I put a demand in the spirit. Oh yes, sowing shifts things immediately. Amen. So today we're naming our seed. Sorry, woman of God, I wasn't ignoring you um, that you sent the seed. You said, I'm sowing to tell God, thank you for his healing power. Father, um, brother, sorry, my brother. Father, even as a man of God, just release the seed just to say thank you for your healing power. God, continue to release healing to his father. I speak strength to him. And I ask right now, God, that you will multiply this man of God's seed for someone. In Jesus' name. How would I know that you believe in God for healing for your father? Because you're not just a number here. I actually pray over everything that comes in. You can give to some of these mega churches. The pastor don't even know who you is. Don't even take time to pray. I literally pray over every single seed individually. That's how I know that you believe in God for healing for your father. Although that you didn't name it today. So that listen. And this is why you're not a member here. I take ministry very serious. I pray over every single seed. And respond back with a prayer hand so Through cash out. Well, I respond back through, Vim, um, through Venmo. It works. But what I want to do this morning, we're naming our seed today. I'm anointed for this. Amen. We're naming our seed today. I'm anointed for this. And there was a gentleman that sold a seed. And I know that you're in ministry as well. So I'm going to sow back into you today, my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to sow back into you today. And I'm naming my seed. Um, thank you, Lord. I'm anointed for this. I'm anointed for this. Thank you, Lord. I'm anointed for this. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Father, we honor you. We give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. There is no one like you. 
There is no one like you. Nobody greater than you, Jesus. Father, we reverence you. Hallelujah. We reverence you, God. We reverence you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm calling you now, my brother. Amen. We reverence you. Favorite song. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run. Who is like you, Lord, in all of the earth, God? Miss Marquilla, you never gave $145, so I'm not refunding you what you didn't give. Matchless love and beauty, endless word. See, she just sent me something. Tell me, she's requesting $145. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup. That won't run dry. You're requesting $145, sweetheart, and I'm not giving you what you never gave. So you, you didn't ask for a refund. It said you're requesting $145, and I'm declining that because you did not give $145 through PayPal. So that's being declined, all right? And that, that was canceled. I'm not giving you what you didn't give. You gave $6 here. You got them back. Amen. If you gave through a different way, then you just out of luck, baby, because that's why I have a great lawyer. Glory to God. Amen. So if you gave another way, guess what? And get this. Not only that, I pray you better hope that you live to be able to come against me. Can I just say that to whoever you is, Marquilla? You better hope that you live to even be able to come against me. Because the Bible says, touch not my anointing, do my prophet no harm. So these unnecessary distractions that you're doing... You better be in fear of what God's about to do to you, sweetheart. Because this ain't my ministry. It's God's ministry. And the Bible says, touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm. So, Father, I pray that you have mercy on this young lady. God, I bind every assignment of the enemy right now that's trying to come against what you're doing. And God, I ask that whatever's getting in my way, whatever's trying to stop me from fulfilling purpose, whether it be friends, family, God, get it out of the way. Whatever it is, God, remove it. Get it out of my way so that I can do what you called me to do in the earth. Please, God, get it out of my way, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray that God has mercy on you, young lady. You don't even know what you're doing, what you're setting yourself up for. I see some things. I'm talking about I see people lost their life that have been coming against me. I've seen people in wheelchairs can't even move their limbs no more for trying to come against me. And you keep sending all these distractions while we're live and keep saying and you're requesting $145. I'm not giving you what you didn't send. You never sent the $145 here unless you gave on another platform. Good morning, my brother Jabari. Amen. So stop trying to be a distraction. Let me block you now on PayPal. Father, we honor you and you're blocked now. Amen. You're blocked. Give you glory, Jesus. We give somebody finna allow $145 to cause her not to have peace. You allow her, you're requesting $145 and don't even know the hell that you're setting up for yourself. Because I'm not doing my will, I'm doing God's will. But you're playing a dangerous game, young lady. Dangerous game. I don't know who you are, but my heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to you. I'm serious. Because I've seen people dead and gone for trying to come against me and a woman of God. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It's real. Amen. But the devil mad because God is using me to release spiritual mysteries. Amen. Amen. That's right. He said, we blocked thee, ma'am. Amen. That's right. We're naming our seat. I'm anointed for this. Thank you, um, woman of God. And I declare great over your life. The name starts with an S. I declare increase that God will continue to multiply your seed for someone. She says she was paralyzed. God is real. It is real. Amen. It is real. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me go to, um, Father, we honor you. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor, God. 
There is no one like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, God. Those of you that are asking for the cash shop, Miss Hazel, Hazel, it's dollar symbol H as in heaven, E A V E N S, impact, I M P A C T. It's heavens with one S in impact. It's the cash shop with a green like briefcase or something on it or suitcase. But it's um, dollar symbol H as in heaven, E A V E N S. Remember, we get, we're giving a $100 sacrificial seed. And we're naming our seed. I'm anointed for this. Amen. Thank you so much, Nikita B. That's the cash out right there. Um, Miss um, Hazel, what Nikita just coming. It's heavens with one S in impact. But make sure that you name your sacrificial seed today. I'm anointed for this. If God tell you to give more than 100, you obey God. If you don't have 100, you give your best seed. But we're naming our seed today. I am anointed for this. And we're declaring the devil will not stop us from fulfilling what God has called us to do. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we reverence you. We reverence you, Jesus. We reverence you, Jesus. You're amazing, God. Father, you're amazing, God. All right, I'm calling you now, brother. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Answer the phone, man of God. Oh, Lord, I can hear myself singing in the background. Good morning. What's up, bro? Good morning, baby. I'm doing awesome. I'm just good. So, as you know, every time I go live, I always pick a different person to sow into. And I saw that you sent the seed. And one of the things God has been having me do lately, he said, Cornelius, don't just sow into the celebrities. Don't just sow into the public figures. Yeah, that you look up to. Their music been a blessing. Yes, yeah, okay to be a blessing to them. You were blessed by their music. He said, but I want you to sow into those that are blessed to this ministry. Sow into those who tithe here. Sow into those who sow here. Give back to those that are in ministry that are doing, that believe in what you're doing. He said, because many of the people are jealous of you. He said, that's why many of them don't give here. They're jealous of what I've called you to do. So they come take the seed and they run with it because they can't understand the favor that's on your life. So I saw that you sowed this morning. Amen. So this morning, I'm going to sow my seed back into you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to sow my seed into you. And we're naming our seed. I'm anointed for this. Amen. But yes, a lot of people, man, you'd be surprised people that don't really like what God is doing through your life. That smile on your face. Oh, I'm happy for you, bro. I love what God's doing. Yeah. Amen. But the Bible says you'll know the tree by the fruit that it bears. You don't never sow here. You don't never tithe here. But yet you always got your hand out. You'd be surprised some of the people always in my inbox asking me to help them with money. Just begging. Yeah. Or when they got an event going on. Bro, I don't hear from you all year long. And now you want to send me a fly of something that's going on that you haven't? <laughs> I mean, for real. You don't even stop by to say hi. But going to send me a fly talking about you trying to come up with money for something. I don't even know you. I don't even know you. <laughs> I mean, for real. Yeah, so I saw you sent the seed. So I'm going to sow back into you, my brother. And I thank you for, you know, for being a blessing to the ministry, for not just saying that you believe in what God is doing through us, but for actually showing it. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. You, you, you've been a blessing to me, man, and my family. Not even just and, and the, the proof in how you, you know, talk about how sowing um, breaks the curse and you reap more because you sow more. So mm -hmm. not even just that, but just watching your testimony and watching how you minister to other people and bless other people has been a blessing and an inspiration to me. So, I, yeah, man, I, anytime I can, not even just sowing, but just words of affirmation, words of love, all of that. I appreciate it. And I, I appreciate your encouragement on every post, how you leave a comment. Encourage me. I appreciate that, bro. You know, because many don't can't like, they can't like what they're against. So there's people that see what you post. They see the great things, but they never stop to like it or comment. Why? Because they're intimidated by what God is doing through your life. And the enemy can't support what he's against. So we got to stop getting in our feelings. People can't support what they're against or what they don't like. They can't understand the favor on your life. So they don't like it. I love you too, Tequila. Amen. Love you more, my sister. Amen. So I just sent you 500 on Cash App. You got it? Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. Give you glory and honor. Mm -hmm. That's why now I tithe into those who tithe here. That's also in ministry. Amen. On Thursdays, I, you know, as the Lord leads me. Amen. But of course, there's some people that, you know, the anointing of their life has been a blessing to our life. So God will have us so back into them. Amen. Yeah, because I don't believe if somebody's music has gotten me through some difficult time not to so back into them. It's like the lepers. 
you know, that, you know, Jesus healed the lepers. Only one came back to say thank you. I'll be that one that say thank you. Your music is a blessing to my life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we reverence you. Give you glory and honor. Amen. So it's not that I just sow into celebrity. I sow into anybody that God leads me to be a blessing to. Especially if they've been a blessing to our life. That's the least we can do is come back to say thank you. Because there's an artist, a lot of artists that we don't hear the music from them no more. Because people don't support. We go listen to it. Um, I don't know if your phone muted. I can't hear your mic. Because we go on YouTube and stream it. Instead of actually purchasing it. You know? So the artists ain't really making money. Amen. You hear me now? I'm sorry. I think I accidentally... Miss Hazel, you say you don't know which cast out to choose. What do you mean, sweetheart? If you're talking about cash out, it's the first one that pops up, Miss Hazel. And I believe that you've been on here numerous times, Miss Hazel. So this isn't your first time being on here. So you should already know the ways to give, Miss Hazel. Because I remember you from another line. And you say cast out to choose. It's not cast out. It's cash out. And you know the correct one because it's right there in the bio. Heavens with one S, then impact. Amen. It's right there at the bottom. Heavens with one S in impact. Amen. Anything extra, if they got extra characters on the name, it ain't us. You know it's not us. Amen. Amen. I mean, people, literally, I mean, people just do stuff to be seen and be a distraction. Now, I literally see this lady on this live. Daily. You were just on here the other day. Let me just, so we are, keep your money because I'm going to block you. Keep, don't send no money, Miss Hazel. I'm blocking you now. You block. Amen. No, you keep your money. But let me tell y'all, listen, I watch and I see these people coming. So I know she be on the live. And it's always the page that's following a whole bunch of people that come on assignment. Amen. They say Ananias and Sapphira and Acts 5 did the same thing. Lied and both dropped dead. Can't play with God. That's right. Amen. Just lying. People come on assignment, but they won't. it won't be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. You got it, brother? Yes, sir. I did, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You don't even follow the page, but you're on exit for prayer. You can't be a distraction. All right? Amen. All right, you can go ahead and pray over the seed, my brother, that God continues to cover me in whatever the Lord give you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, man. Uh, Father, thank you. Yes, Lord. Uh, first and foremost, for your mercy, your grace, your kindness, yes, your long suffering, your your, 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 your thoughtfulness towards us. Yes. Uh, morning by morning, the mercies we see. Yes, Lord. And it's because of your faithfulness and your greatness. Uh, and we're so thankful for all that you have bestowed upon us. God, I'm taking this time to yes. thank you, yes, not only even just for my brother and his ministry, uh, but even for furthermore that I would, um, I would pray that you would continue to give back to him. Uh, all that he has given you yes, said um, many are called few are chosen um, uh, and I believe in, in this time for you have called and chosen him such a time as this to to bless others to to touch others to heal others even as he is constantly being touched and blessed and healed by you and your hands so God everything that he has sown upon me uh, not even just to me but to those who's given upon I pray that you would continue to uh, pour into a thousandfold. Uh, bless this seed. Let it be known that it is in good ground and that the ground that has been sown from is even good ground as well. Yes, that it will continue to be pressed down, shaken together, running over. Yes, that men will continuously give unto uh, his bosom God because he has served diligently and continues to serve and is obeying your word, obeying your voice and obeying your call. So God, I thank you. I give you yes, praise. And I believe it to all be done. Um, as we speak things that be not as though they were a lot of times in our, in our current circumstances, but in the midst of all, when we got dirt on our feet, we still have heaven in our eyes. We're thankful that we see you above all things and see you through all things. So thank you, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, my brother. You got a song in your spirit this morning you want to bless the people with? Anything on you? <laughs> Man, well, since you, you kind of already started, I, I wasn't going to sing it. You, you kind of already started with the. Uh, oh, you got your keyboard on. Oh yeah. I, you all right? Go ahead, go ahead, man. Let the Lord use you. You go ahead. I got a confession. I was actually while you were speaking, I was over here playing behind you. Wow. To what you was playing? Uh, your track that you played behind. Oh wow. Um, man, what was the name of the track? Uh, 
next part um treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful hallelujah forgiver of my past and present wrongs i don't know the next part but god you're worthy of all other praise hallelujah your presence is heaven. It's heaven to me. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 your presence. It's heaven. It's heaven to me, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Mike. for your presence. We give you glory for your presence. You are amazing, God. There is no one like you. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Your presence is heaven to me. Hallelujah. God is so amazing. Grateful for your presence. Everybody ought to just say, thank God for your presence. Hallelujah. Thank God for your presence. Amen. Hallelujah. What on uh, some uh, somebody say, what key are you playing in, Mike? F sharp. F sharp. Oh, F sharp. I usually sing it, I think, is it A flat or B I don't remember one of the flat keys I always sing in. Amen. F sharp, you said. Thank you, Lord. So you were the same, Mike. Don't start now. <laughs> Your name is 
awesome in this place. Your name is holy in this place. So God be praised. 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 Your name is hollow in my life. Hallelujah. So open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. God, I want to see you. So open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Will you open the eyes of my heart, God? I want to see you. That's my prayer, God. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power in your love. As we sing holy, holy, holy. To see you high and lifted up, God, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power in love as we sing holy, 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 holy. God, we want to see you. That's the reason we're here, God. We want to see you, Lord. Hallelujah. We want to see you. Don't let our singing be in vain. God, we want to see you. Don't let our fasting and praying be in vain. God, we want to see you. Don't let our living be in vain. God, we want to see you. Hallelujah. Anybody want to see God, just tell them, say, God, I want to see you. Can you just tell God that this morning, God, I want to see you. That's why we're here. The Bible says, do not forsake the assembly of brethren, especially as you see the day drawing near. So we know that the return of Jesus Christ is so soon to come. So we can't afford to stop coming together. We can't afford to stop worshiping, to stop getting in the word. Because the Bible says faith comes through hearing of the word of God. Then he said, how can they hear without a preacher? The enemy is literally on an assignment to make it where there's no more word of God being preached. Where all you see is fight videos, gun violence, poverty, foolishness online, perversion, lust. When you go to your search engine, all you see is half naked people. Because he don't want it where there's nobody speaking like you. Nobody encouraging you so that when he sent thoughts of suicide, you take your life. So that when he sent thoughts of divorce, you run a divorce court because there's nobody to speak life, to speak strength. You tell you, keep going. Don't give up. This is why God is counting on us, those that claim we love him, to give to the kingdom so that his word don't die out in the earth. The enemy wants all the clubs open, all the bars open, all the liquor stores open, all the drug dealers standing on the corner, but nobody's speaking like, this is why he tell you, don't give your money to God. God don't need your money. Really what the devil want to say is, no, I want to try to cause your marriage to be destroyed. If you're giving so that there's preaching, your marriage won't be destroyed. You won't take your life from suicide because there's somebody that'll speak life to you. That's why the Bible say, wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. If you ever want to know what you love and who you really love, just check where you give all your financial resources to. Because wherever your treasure is, your money, there will your heart be. We're in a season where God is counting on his people to make sure that we contribute so that his will keeps going in the earth because his return is so near. So near. No man knows the day nor the hour when the son of man shall return. Jesus is on the way. And he's counting on those of us that claim that we love him. To don't just say that we love him, but show it in our giving. Abraham, you love me? Well, sacrifice your son. 
It wasn't that he wanted Abraham to kill his son. God saw how much Abraham loved his son. And he just wanted to make sure that his son hasn't taken his place. Look at the woman with the expensive perfume. She poured out a year's worth of her wages on Jesus in expensive perfume. And they called that lady crazy. No, she recognized what's important. Jesus is more important than any materialistic thing. That's why the Bible says, store up your treasure in heaven where thief no moth can break in and steal. Somebody ought to come and I got treasures in heaven. I got treasures in heaven. He says, store up your treasures in heaven where thief no moth can break in and steal. But if you don't give nothing, how can you say that you got treasures in heaven where you don't even contribute to heaven being on earth? You don't even give so that more souls can know Jesus. So how can you say that you got treasures in heaven when you don't even contribute to the kingdom? No, you got treasures in the club because you faithfully give for that liquor. You got treasures at, the, at, the, uh, look, at Neiman Marcus because you faithfully buy up all the name brands. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? God is counting on those of us that claim that we love him to give so that more souls can be won before he cracked the sky. Jesus is returning. Don't let God come back and he find out all your resources is just going into your business because you've allowed your business to become your God. Because you've allowed the things that he's blessed you with on earth to take his place. Don't allow these possessions to distract you from the one that's most important. God is worthy of our sacrifice. Give and it shall be given. Whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. Ecclesiastes 10, 19, money answers all things. Why does the Bible say that? Because money is literally a tool that makes things shift immediately in the spirit realm. Amen. Don't rob God. Tithing stops the curse. That little 10% will cause God to rebuke the devour for your name's sake. To open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you have not room enough to receive. It works. It works. Tithing stops the curse. Amen. It works. Thank you, Lord. Don't allow these things to get all your resources. Then you, you always in the line asking for prayer for finances because you're robbing God. That's why it's like you got holes in your pocket. That's why every time you get money, it seems like it runs through your hand like water. You cannot give to God. I mean, give to man and expect God to keep increasing what he's not a part of. It doesn't work like that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We honor you, God. The devil is so mad. Can I tell y'all what the enemy did? So the lady, remember the lady sent the dollar and all that stuff. So the lady Hazel that I blocked on Instagram, she came over to YouTube. Let me show you what she did. The one that was asking for the cash out. She sent $2, right? You see that? She was doing it to be a distraction. So she asked for the cash out on the stream when she's on here every day watching. She sends $2, right? I refunded her back her $2, didn't even name it. Now, y'all know we name our seeds. Anything we give to God, it's not even about the amount. When you're sowing the seed, you're putting your seed on assignment, right? She sent $2, didn't name it, trying to be a distraction because she wanted me to stop in the middle of me talking, and I, but I had already refunded it back. I just kept ministering. She wanted me to stop on assignment. Send $2, don't name it, don't nothing, right? Send the $2 because she wanted me to say something in that moment, but I kept ministering and I refunded it back. Right here, $2. The lady that was on Instagram. Then she comes over to YouTube after I refunded her back her $2. And she said, I just tried to send money on Cash App, but it got returned. You know it got returned because you didn't name it. It's not even about the amount. Every seed has an assignment. You just gave something small because you wanted to be a distraction. Sent $2. And that's all God is worth to her. That's all God is worth to her. And she did that to be a distraction because she wanted me to address the amount. These witches and warlocks know what they're doing. Those that are working for the devil. But now you blocked on cash out. Jesus, be a fix. That picture you got on cash out. Baby, you look possessed. And I declare deliverance to your soul. Deliverance to your soul. Just looking at your face just now. Didn't even look right. If that's really you. But I declare deliverance to your soul and that God will have mercy on you. Because it's a dangerous thing, a dangerous game to come against a man of God. Dangerous. Literally look like demons are speaking to you. Just from your face. Let me tell y'all something. This is why y'all need the Holy Ghost. He give you eyes to see. She says, I love a straight up pastor. 
You can see a spirit at work in a person. Just look at your picture, just looking at your facial expression. But I declare deliverance to your soul. That you will surrender to God and stop being a tool for the enemy to be using. The devil is not your friend, sweetheart. You do all that working for the devil and wake up to immediate torment by demons. It's not worth it. After you done tried to destroy marriages, after you done tried to stop people from winning souls, you wake up to immediate torment by demons. After you done been his tool on the earth, it's not worth it. Amen? So come out of that stuff. And I guarantee you, her and that same lady probably both know each other. They was both on Instagram. And they both got blocked. And we literally just said God's going to start exposing and removing the people that shouldn't be in your life. And he's doing it that fast. Amen. But can't nobody stop God. Amen. If you are blessed today, I want you to come in on the street. I am blessed. Amen. If you are blessed today, I want you to come in on the street. I am blessed. If you enjoyed the worship, the word, the message today. Amen. I want you to come in. I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. I am blessed. Hallelujah. I see you, Miss Marquia. I see you, um, BB's Kitchen. I see you, Miss Shabante. I see you, Miss Kenyatta. I see you, the fab friend. I see you, it's Arthur Smith. He says, I am blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I am blessed. Hallelujah. I see you. Amen. That's right, Miss Yolanda. That's right, Miss Rajari. Amen. We are blessed. Amen. This is the time that everybody gets to play a part. It's offering time, y'all. Is it Zinni? Which one? Or oh, Slim Goody, the one that's sending the laughing emotions. Amen. So what we're going to do, this is a time that everybody gets to play a part. It's offering time, y'all. Everybody, let's get something to give to God this morning. And we're going to name our offering this morning, I Am Blessed. Why do we name our offering, I Am Blessed? Because the Bible says, if you would decree a thing, it shall be established on earth. So this morning, we're going to get something to offer to God. If God has been good to you, ain't no way we should come into the presence of God and not have something to give. When he's given us breath in our body, eyes to see, ears to hear, arms to hold, hands to touch, new mercies every morning, daily loading us with benefits, protecting us from danger seen and unseen. So this morning, let's get something to give to God. I'm not going to tell you what to give to God, but you give God whatever you feel he's worthy of. If he's been good to you, you give on a level of his goodness. But this morning, we're going to name my offering, I am blessed. Amen. Those of you that are giving an offering this morning. Um, you can give it at dollar symbol, H-E-A-V-E-N-S, impact, I-M-P-A-C-T. Can somebody comment that on the screen? Remember, my face picture is not on there. Apparently, they even deleted all the information off of my, my bio, off of the bio on, on Cash App. So it's heavens with one S, then impact. It's the one with the little green, um, I guess it got like a suitcase or a briefcase on there. But it says, make room for what you've been praying for because it's on the way. Amen. And make sure that you name your offering this morning. I mean, um, I am blessed. Amen. For those of you, amen, that want to give, thank you, Lord. If you're giving through Venmo, it's at Pastor C. Edwards. That's at P-A-S-T-O-R-C-E-D-W-A-R-D-S. Make sure that you name your offering, I am blessed. Amen. Thank you, um, woman of God. We receive your tithe. Remember, tithe is 10% of whatever we earn. So if you made a thousand for the week, it's a hundred. If you made two thousand, there's no way that you work in a forty-hour week workshop and we just throwing anything at God, calling that our tithe. Amen. It's ten percent of our earnings. Amen. We don't just give anything to God and call it tithe. Amen. But we're naming our offering this morning. I am blessed. Amen. Thank you, all woman of God. Amen. We receive your tithe. Your name start with an M. I bind the spirit of lack from off your life. And I pray that as you obey God, that he continues to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you have not room enough to receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you also, my brother. We receive your offering. I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life, Carlos, and that God will multiply you even more as you're putting him first. In Jesus' name. Uh, Miss Latanya, the ways to give her in the bio. So the cash out is right there in the bio on every platform. Heavens with one S. Then impact. And it's the one that don't have any information on the Cash App. So apparently Cash App has deleted my information off of the bio where it says we're not a business and stuff. Literally that we're, we're not a business because we don't do this for W2. We don't do this for 1099. We, we freely give unto God. So somebody, they deleted my information off of the bio. Amen. On um, Cash App. Amen. But I'll tell it to you publicly. We're not a bank. We're not a business. Amen. We're a ministry doing the will of God. We're being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Uh, Miss Gabriella, PayPal is paypal.me forward slash heaven's impact. It's paypal.me forward slash H E A V E N S impact. I M P A C T. Make sure that you name your offer. I am blessed. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, um, woman of God, your name starts with an E. You just gave through Venmo, and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life. We receive your offering. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Make sure that you name it. I am blessed. You can keep playing, Mike. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hello, Mike. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, make sure that you name it. I am blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Those of you also, amen, that are giving, um, if you're giving through, um, so the cash out is dollar symbol H-E-A-V-E-N-S impact I-M-P-A-C-T. Amen. All right. Those of you that don't, I knew it was her that was putting a laughing emoji. I already knew that. I knew that was coming. Let me go to, let me go here and block another person on Instagram. I knew that was coming. When I saw the laughing emojis and I looked, I said, let me see who on here, who was doing the laughing emoji. And now somebody put, um, uh, hold on one second. Let me just, let me get the name in good. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We honor you, God. I was waiting on it to come. She talking about, and it, look, following 2,600 pages, but only 400 and some people following. It's always the ones following a bunch of people that come to be a distraction. I can't sell anything right now. She says she don't have a job. She's currently unhoused and all that. Just come to be a distraction. Distractions. I knew it when I seen that name. I said, that got to be the one hitting the laughing emojis. But now she blocked. Distractions. We don't speak word curses over our life. If you ain't got it, you don't have to announce that you ain't got it. They just do it to be a distraction. Amen. To be a distraction. Amen. Amen. Those of you, make sure that you name your welcome woman of God. Make sure that you name your offer now. I'm blessed. For those of you, if you're giving through Venmo, the Venmo is at Pastor C. Edwards. That's at P-A-S-T-O-R-C-E-D-W-A-R-D-S. Amen. At Pastor C. Edwards. Also, um, um, those of you that are giving um through um the website. It's www.corneliusedwards.com. So if you give it to the website, thank you, um, woman of God. Your name starts with an M. You say, I'm anointed for this. And I declare great upon your life that God will continue to give you holy boldness. And that he will multiply your seed for someone and continue to increase your life for his glory. Thank you for your obedience to the Holy Spirit and sending that seed. For those of you that are giving through, um, what is it called? Um, yeah, if you're giving through Venmo, it's at Pastor C. Edwards. That's at P-A-S-T-O-R-C-E-D-W-A-R-D-S. Amen. For those of you that want to give through Zale, the Zale is connected to the email address. The email is A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, O-I-N, T as in Terrell, E-D-S-I-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Make sure that you name your um your Offering, I am blessed. If you're sowing a seed, remember today we gave $100 sacrificial seed. Of course, well, I gave 500 But we're naming our seed today. Um, I am anointed for this. I'm anointed for this. Declaring, we came from Joseph. Declaring that, you know, that nobody's going to stop us fulfilling on um, purpose. Why? Because we're anointed for this. So nobody's going to stop what God has for us. Amen. So we're putting a demand in the spirit realm. Amen. They have several heavens impact. What does it look like? There's only one, Miss Latanya. And it's not heaven impacts with the S. There's no S after impact, Miss Latanya. Heavens with one S in impact. All right. It's spelled exactly the way that I put it on the screen. And you just added an extra S. So I don't know if you're doing that to be a distraction, Miss Latanya, but it's right there on the screen. All right. No S after impact. Literally, it's right there in front of you. Amen. The first one that pops up, and you already don't have, I mean, you got a private page, no picture, nothing on there. So I don't know if you're trying to be a distraction, Miss Latanya Allen, but it's heavens with one S in impact right before your eyes. Amen. There's no face picture of me on there. All right. Make sure that you name your seat. I am anointed for this. If you send the offer, just put I am blessed. For those of you that want to get to the website, the website is www dot Cornelius Edwards dot com. That's www dot C O R N E L I U S Edwards dot com. Make sure that you click on the button that says donate, although we don't donate to God. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So we don't we we don't give to God for the government to give us back anything. As we give to God, He stops the attack. He opens doors. He brings forth healing. He brings forth breakthrough. Amen. He gives it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So anyhow, this um, so what we're um, what we're naming our seed today is there a way to block somebody on mail? Okay, report as spam. Okay, thank you, Lord. Now you blocked on on mail, Miss Pinkson. That keep emailing me. Now you're blocked, so you're gonna be emailing to yourself. Amen. Sending me, I would like a refund for hundred for the twenty two. What in the world is you talking about? I would like a refund for the hundred, a loop for the hundred for the twenty two, and for the one forty five. Please and thank you. 
what in the world is this lady talking about? We gave you back your $6 on PayPal. And I really couldn't shouldn't have did that. I, I really could have declined it and didn't accept it because you know what you were giving. You gave unto God, but I refunded it back to you. She's literally being a distraction, but you can't stop God. Amen. Amen. To all of you also, amen, that are giving. Um, thank you, Lord. If you're giving through, um, hallelujah, um, report a scam. All right. If you're giving through, um, those of you that are giving through, um, Mark, uh, 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 report spam. All right, if you're giving through um through um what is it called? Zell. The Zell is under the email. Yep, she's still going. The Zell is under the email address. The email address is anointed singer at gmail.com. That's A as an Apple, N as in Nancy, O I N, T as in Terrell, E D. Okay, S I N G E R. Amen. All right, um, um bro. all right, okay, yeah, you can get it, my brother. All right, you could go get it. All right, all right, okay. Thank you though, Mike. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. I'll talk with you later, brother. All right. Okay. So this morning, look, what I was going to say. So um, we're, um, if you're giving through, um, thank you, Lord. If you're giving through um, the, the website, it's www.corneliusedwards.com. It's www.corneliusedwards.com. Remember, we're giving $100 sacrificial seed. We're naming our seed. Um, I am anointed for this. Miss Chelsea, please name your seed, sweetheart. All right, I just, oh, is that Chelsea? Oh, Chelsea Borns, how you doing, my sister? Name your seed. Today we're naming our seed. I'm anointed for this. So name your seed what you're believing God for. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I think that's Chelsea Borns. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Chelsea, she favor her. Hold on. Um, please, hallelujah, name your seed. All right, today we named our seed. I'm anointed for this. So, um, Miss Chelsea, I just sent you back your um your um your hundred dollars. But name your seed, all right? I just refunded it back to you. Please make sure your um those of you that are sowing, name your seed. Today we're naming our seed. I'm anointed for this, all right? Or if it's something else that you're believing God for, just name the seed, all right? For those of you, if you're giving through offering, we're naming our offering. I am blessed. But if you're giving through the mail, um, so the mailing address is PO Box four six zero one three two. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33346. That is P.O. Box 460-132. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33346. Amen. And when you give through the mail, amen, make sure that, um, amen, I should have known she was being a distraction. Amen. When you give through the mail, make sure that you, um, that you put the cash inside of a piece of paper. Write on the paper what it is, all right? So if you're giving in the mail, um, make sure you put the cash in the paper, right on the paper. If it's your tithe, tithe is 10% of whatever we earn. So put tithe, T-I-T-H-E-S. If you're sowing a seed, name the seed which you're believing God for. God open doors for me. God bring, God give me total healing. God increase my finances. So you name your seed what you're believing God to do. If you're sowing a seed through the mail. And if you're just giving an offering, just put I am blessed. Amen. So we name, excuse me, we name our offer I am blessed. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are giving your offer, just name it I am blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But those of you that are sowing your seed today, we named it I'm anointed for this. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We name our seed. Hallelujah. I'm, thank you, Lord. I'm anointed. Thank you, Lord, for this. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, you're worthy. Worthy, God. Thank you, Lord. All right. So I'm okay. All right. So I think I gave y'all all the ways to give, right? PayPal, paypal.me forward slash have his impact. Zale, anointed singer at gmail.com. Um, Website, www.corneliuselvers.com. Um, cash out, Heavens with one S, then Impact. Amen. It's the first one that pops up. Heavens with one S, then Impact. Father, we thank you. God, we thank you for another day in your presence. We thank you for another day to worship you. We thank you for another day to give you all the glory, the honor that is due your name. And God, we just repent again. Lord, if there's anything that we may have said, done, thought about doing, or wanted to do that's not pleasing unto you. Father, Please forgive us. God, continue to create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, Father, for every single person that is watching today. I pray for those that did not have anything to give. And I ask right now, Father, that you will bless them with seed to sow. You said in your word, God, that you give seed to the sower and that you'll increase the harvest of our righteousness. So God, even as we released our seed, those that did not have seed to sow, I ask that you bless them where they're able to sacrifice. And for those that did so, God, as we released our seed, declaring I'm anointed for this, God, I declare that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. 
that every attack that the enemy has released against our life, that it will not be able to affect what you called us to do. Father, continue to fight for us. Lord, take hold of shield and buckler. Release your right arm that wins wars in the name of Jesus. And God, I even pray for those that got it but choose not to so. I bind the spirit of jealousy, covetousness, selfishness, watching what you're doing but don't want to contribute because they're intimidated by what you're doing in these end times. We bind that spirit of comparison and competition and we declare unity within the body of Christ, oneness in the name of Jesus. And Father, I even pray right now for those that gave their tithe, even those that are going to give their tempers and their tithe unto you during the replay. I declare according to Malachi chapter 3, an open heaven over every tithe unto this soil. I ask right now, God, that you will continue to rebuke the devourer for their name's sake, that you will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that they have not room enough to receive. Increase their businesses. Bring increase and restoration to their marriages, to their family. Cause their children to get approved for paid and full scholarships where they don't even have to come out of their pocket to pay for college tuition. God, favor them because of their obedience and giving so that your will keeps going in the earth. In the name of Jesus. And God, I pray right now, Father, for every person that are given an offering, even those that are going to give their offering, that are given with pure motives and pure intentions. God, give them what money came by. Give them sweet sleep. Give them peace, restoration, joy, favor. I pray that you give them what money came by. Give them your favor. Cause doors to swing open for them. God, do it now. In the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. Father, we love you, we honor you, we adore you. We decree and we declare that today is an amazing day. We declare that today is a day of increase, overflow, abundance, divine connection, that you're placing us at the right place at the right time. We bind every word curse that's been released over our life. We rebuke and bind the spirit of sabotage, premature death, car accidents, delay, setup, sickness, disease, infirmity, whatever the enemy has been released against our life, we rebuke you. We bind your assignment. We cast you down and send you back to the pits of hell. And we declare that today is an amazing day. We call for open doors, favor, divine connections, that you continue to place us at the right places at the right time. And we'll forever give you all the glory, the honor and the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody say amen. Again, those of you that are watching, remember, there's a bunch of fake pages in me. If anybody inboxes you, asking for money, Talking about giving to an organization, a nonprofit, that's not me. All right? That's not me. I don't come asking people to give no money to no nonprofit, to no charity. We just do what the words say. The Bible say, give and it shall be given. The Bible say, whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. So we apply the principles of the Bible to our life and God responds to our faith. We don't have to use no gimmicks and schemes to get nobody to give nothing. You hear me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we bind every distraction and we send it back to the pits of hell. You don't even follow the page and ask me to pray for you. I just finished praying, so I know you came to be a distraction. We bind every distraction and send it back to the pits of hell. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys so much, people of God. I will see you guys, Lord willingly, um, Thursday. Remember, we got communion on Thursday. Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Those of you that can, go get your grape juice and your crackers. Come join us Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone, okay? Father, we love you. Can everybody comment on the stream? Jesus, I love you. As always, I love you for real. Have an amazing day. Yeah. Father, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Carlos, say, I got it ready. There is no one like you. I love you more, Miss Carissa. Nobody greater than you, God. You are amazing, Jesus. Love you too, Miss Shirley. You are marvelous, God. You're amazing, God. Hallelujah. I love you guys. See you guys Thursday. Unless God say otherwise, go subscribe to the Facebook page. Heavens with one S in impact. It's the one that has over 40,000 followers. If you want to know which one is the correct Facebook page, you'll see where we just went live. All right. 
Also, sweetheart, Miss Marquilla, we're not refunding you on Zelle because you gave through Zelle so that you can be a distraction. We don't give refunds through Zelle. If anything, we can report you as, as being a scammer on Zelle so I could call my bank and report you, Miss Marquilla, saying that you gave money unto God and that now you're trying to take it back so I can report you as a distraction on Zelle. I can do that. I can call my bank because my bank already know what I do because the bank watches us. They even offer to give me money because they see us feeding the homeless and blessing people. My bank told me they love what God has used. They said, man, I love what you're doing. How can we give? Like, can we give money to help out with this? But God wouldn't let me take money from them. And no, you can't get a refund on Zelle. That's the reason why you gave to Zelle, because you know that we can't refund on Zelle. So you did that to be a distraction. No, we don't give refunds on Zelle if that's what you gave out. And so stop being a tool for the enemy to use. Amen? How, tell me, can, can I get re my, my refunds, please, on Zelle and PayPal? You gave through Zelle because you know we can't refund on Zelle. That's why you did it. But we declare deliverance to your soul. We're not sowing into you for you to release a sacrifice against us. Because you can sow into bad soil and curse your life. Can I tell y'all something? Every soil ain't fertile. That's why we don't sow into you. We'll refund you back. We hit refund like we did today. But we're not going to sow a hundred and some dollars into you into bad soil. No. Everybody, you don't give money to everybody. All soil ain't fertile, so we're not doing that, baby. Amen. So y'all be, be mindful of who you sow into because every soil is not fertile. So they'll give money to you because they want you to give money back to them so that you're sowing into them. The devil is a lie. I hit refund, but I ain't sowing into you. The devil is a lie. Every soil ain't fertile. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So those of you this morning, I love you guys. Make sure that you guys go follow the Facebook page, Heavens with One Estin Impact. That's the one where you can see it's over 40,000 followers. And if you look on the page, you can see that we just went live today. That way you know which one is the real one. Also, let me tell you, any of the enemy's devices, they'll send you money because they want you to send money back to them. So you're sowing it to them. The devil is a liar. Every soil ain't fertile. I ain't sowing it's a bad soil to cause my finances to get stuck. Amen. Those of you also that have YouTube Go subscribe to the YouTube page. The YouTube, um, thank you. I love you too, Miss Lavish, Miss Lavish. Amen. Those of you that get um that have YouTube, go subscribe to the YouTube page, which is Pastor Cornelius Edwards. Amen. On YouTube. For those of you that have um TikTok, um, the TikTok is Pastor C. Edwards on TikTok. Amen. Also, those of you that have Instagram, the Instagram is Pastor underscore C E. God will always expose those who's are, who are not really for you. Amen. All it takes is something to happen and the enemy going to show themselves every time. Amen. She was waiting on that moment to get blocked. That's why she put that scripture to be a distraction. Amen. She was waiting on her opportunity to get blocked so that she can say, give me back my money on Zelle. You gave you Zelle because you know we can't do refunds on Zelle. But I can report you on Zelle. That I can do. I can call my bank when I get off here and report my Quilla Pinkston on Zelle. Let me see if, if you gave on Zelle so that I could call my bank. And, t and see if they can refund it. If they can't refund it, I'm going to report you as fraud and tell my bank that you're giving to be a distraction because they watch me. My bank know I'm legit. They know what I'm doing because they love it. And they tell me, thank you, amen, for what you're doing across the world. Amen. So let me go. Let me look on Zelle to see. Thank you, Lord, since she's trying to be a distraction. Father, we reverence you. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you honor, God. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Nobody greater than you, God. Nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. Your name is above all names. Marquilla is requesting um, $122.45 um, on, on Zill. No, let me see what you gave it. Your name is above all names and you're worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. So Marquilla sent the hundred dollars through Zell and named it. Thank you, Jesus. So you didn't give unto God. Girl, you, that's a losing battle. How you going to sow a seed and put thank you, Jesus, and come ask for it back? You sent the hundred dollars March 31st, 2024, and you named it. Thank you, Jesus. Girl, let me decline this, what you asking for. How you going to give to God saying thank you, Jesus, but tell me to give you back what you just told the Lord thank you for? All because you got caught in your mess on Instagram. 
Go ahead now. You sent $100 March 31st saying thank you, Jesus, and I don't ask for it back. How you going to tell him thank you, but you just, Father, we honor you. Well, I mean, the devil ain't got no, the devil's mad, y'all, but he can't stop what God is doing. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys, Lord willingly, um, this Thursday, unless God say otherwise. Make sure that you guys go subscribe to the um, to the um, Facebook page. It's Heavens with One X, uh, One S in Impact. Also, those of you that are given through um, um, through uh, understand, I don't follow you, but Pastor, I didn't know I had to follow you for a prayer. What are you talking about, sir? Uh, Ma'am, I don't even know who you are. Amen. Thank you, Lord. How you just come on a live saying, pray for me. Pray for me. You came to be a distraction. Amen. Came to be a distraction. But listen, those of you that are on here, amen, we're going to, um, um, yeah, make sure that you guys are following each platform. Thank you, Lord. The, um, the Facebook is Heavens with One S, um, Impact, I-M-P-A-C-T. Amen. Heavens with One S, then Impact. For those of you that are giving through, um, through, um, I mean, for those of you that have Facebook, Heavens with One S, then Impact. Also, for those of you that have, um, what is this called? Um, um, Faith, um, Lord, YouTube. So go subscribe to the YouTube page. The YouTube page is Pastor Cornelius Edwards on YouTube. That is Pastor Cornelius Edwards on YouTube. It's the one I think it's over 4,000 followers on YouTube. Also, for those of you that have TikTok, go subscribe to the TikTok page. Amen. That is, uh, what is the other um, Those of you that, are, um, that have TikTok, the TikTok is Pastor C. Edwards. Amen. And if you want to know which one is the correct TikTok, Hold on, let me go to it so I can tell y'all which one is the correct one. Because there's a bunch of fake pages of me, y'all. These scammers are like, it's the one that has 189.8 thousand followers. So if you want to know which one is the correct TikTok, it's the one with 189.8 thousand followers. All the other ones are scammers. Block them. I only got one TikTok page. That's this one, 189.8 thousand followers. If you pull my name up on TikTok and you see any other names, Block all those pages. None of them are me on TikTok. Also on Instagram. The one on Instagram is the one with the blue check. It's Pastor underscore CE on Instagram. Anything else on, on Instagram, um, it's not me. The one on Instagram has a blue check. Anything you pull up with Cornelius Edwards ahead, um, that does not have a blue check, it's not me. All right? Amen. The correct one for Instagram is 88.3 thousand followers. So if you look on Instagram, you'll see where it says... Um, there's 88.3 thousand people following me and you'll see that I'm following 7,505. So that's the right Instagram, pastor underscore CE. Anything other than that, block all those pages. Even on Cash App, heavens with one S in impact. Anything extra with numbers on the end or extra S after impact, block them, okay? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys Lord willingly Thursday unless God say otherwise, I'll see you before then. Father, we honor you. Can you just tell them, everybody just say, Jesus, you're amazing. Can you just tell God that before we get off here? Jesus, you're amazing. You're amazing, Lord. You are amazing, Jesus. You are amazing, Jesus. You're amazing, God. There is no one greater. I see you. There is no one stronger than you, God. You're amazing, God. You are amazing, Jesus. You are awesome, Jesus. You're an awesome God. And we love to love you, God. We love to love you, Lord. We love to sing your praises, Jesus.